All right, this game. Yes. Yeah, yes. so I mean, I, I've already started the live stream here, you all. Um, yes. <laughs> maybe I'll just do a really quick intro on this. Is so, yeah, if you're tuning into this, um, this is Aberrant Session Zero with the GM. What is what is the official title of the person who runs the game? Is Storyteller as well? Storyteller, yes. yes. Oh, the Storyteller, Amanda yes. Bergman. Um, I will just tell people, if anybody's watching this, if you don't really want to hear ran lots of random banter and probably <laughs> it's obvious, and random questions. This is session zero, so we're going to be making characters as well. You might want to just skip and go to session one, which will be next month, um, <laughs> because I don't plan on being focused. You can't be focused in session zero. They have Not like really. a, actually, for that matter, most wait. You already have a character name, Garrett. <laughs> yeah, I've got a character. I've got a character name and a concept. I've actually made fifteen different character sheets. Lord, but also, but also, right now I'm all, I'm off of my ADHD meds because I'm out of them. So like, there will be no focus here either. And in all fairness, coming up with character names is one of my strengths. It's you true. Ask Amanda. That's what I'm yeah. needing a name on the fly. Done. Lord. Okay. Before we start making characters, I'm going to give y'all a very, very brief overview of the world. Sounds great. Because it's for the best. What we have here is, for all intents and purposes, our world. Cool. Okay. But about 10 years ago, the space station exploded, blanketing the entire world in a strange sort of radiation. A few hours later, uh, which was caught on a uh, on news media at the time. There was a firefighter who was, I don't know, fighting a fire, because that's what firefighters do. And he couldn't get up to some people who were trapped in part of a burning building. And the news actually was able to film his eruption into the first publicly known Nova when he literally absorbed all the fire in the building into his body, saving several lives, including his own. He then subsequently became known as the fireman, because duh. And as I said, he is publicly considered to be the first known Nova. Over the subsequent months and years, more and more people have erupted into having superpowers. Uh, the world governments all over the place had no clue what to do with the sudden influx of superheroes and or supervillains or random schmucks with superpowers, take your pick. And eventually a century old philanthropic society called the Aeon Society stepped up, went to the UN and said, hey, we don't have a dog in this fight. We'll take point on dealing with this Nova situation for you. Desperate and not knowing what else to do, the UN said, cool, you take it. Soon after, the Aeon Society founded Project Utopia, which is a philanthropic society or organization based on studying Novas, helping them train and use their powers, and helping them to use their powers for the greatest good of humanity. Over the course of the next 10 years, Novas have completely cleaned up the atmosphere. The hole in the ozone layer has been fixed. Our oceans are as close to pristine as they're gonna get. You can safely drink from any running water in the world for all intents and purposes. Environmentally, the world is in an amazing place. Medical breakthroughs, technological breakthroughs, one of the big issues with superheroes in comics is that it seems like all of these people with powers never actually seem to improve the world around them. Novas do. There's all kinds of stuff that Novas have done, in addition to simply being super. Of course, not everybody likes the fact that Utopia has their fingers in everybody's pie. Uh, there is a Terrigen, or there's a terrorist organization called the Terrigen, or at least they're prop popularly considered to be terrorists because their leader came out a couple years into all of this and said, no, Novas are not human. Novas are better. We are the one race. We are the next generation. And baseline laws don't apply to us. Uh, Basically, yes. Um, though more separatist than domination. So Magneto in his island country phase rather than his Brotherhood of Evil Mutants phase. Yeah, 
uh, but definitely a Magneto type figure. Uh, not anti human, but pro Nova. Again, very Magneto. Uh, Utopia, of course, is not at all keen on that. Uh, there are, of course, a lot of Novas that have chosen not to join up with Project Utopia, becoming elite mercenaries or uh, just any number of celebrities, whatever else. Um, to be a Nova is to be a celebrity, unless you've managed to effectively hide the fact that you're a Nova somehow. These uh, celebrity culture at this point now is Nova culture. Um, my idea for this game is that we're going to be primarily set in Chattanooga, Tennessee, since that's a place that I know fairly well and that other folks y'all are more or less on an even playing field as far as not knowing it terribly well, at least as far as I know. <clears throat> and the idea is that there is what is appearing to be a serial killer who is targeting people who have the potential to become Novas, but who have not already. Basically, uh, not everybody has the capacity to become a Nova. If you do, uh, you have a gland uh, in your brain called the Mazarin Reschald node. Uh, if you have that gland and something particularly traumatic or exciting or whatever happens to you, you can erupt and become a Nova. If you do not have that gland and something horrible like that happens to you, you probably just die. Right. Cool. Like so, you do. Like you do. Yeah. Um, I just um, want to say I love the concept. I love the the what the game is going to be about. That sounds awesome. That's awesome. very. It's a kind of a uh, somewhat of a, a a trope in superhero stuff. But I I mean it's that's that's it's, the reason why it's a trope is because it's awesome. Because it works, yeah. Uh, I mean, all stories are at some point tropes. Yeah. Okay, cool. So the before we start character creation, I want to have y'all discuss amongst yourselves as to what organization or organizations y'all are going to choose to be associated with. Utopia is definitely the most popular and the largest. It's definitely not the only option. Um, you could also be Terrigen if you wanted to be <laughs> Terrigen and terrorist. Uh, there's something called the Aberrants, which are sort of a very underground movement. There's not a lot known about them, uh, but they fight against the rumored corruption in Utopia without going as far as being, you know, Nova First terrorist. You could also be a team of municipal defenders where like the city of Chattanooga has hired you to be the city superhero team. Um, like I said, you're not all required to be part of the same group, but if you are not part of the same group, I am going to ask that you have at least one connection to at least one other character so that there's group cohesion. I already have mine, Amanda. Just mm -hmm. going to put this out there. I'm going to go with Aberrant. Okay. Uh, so my character would have started out as Project Utopia mm -hmm. and signed on with the Aberrants who, when we realized that Project Utopia was doing some underhanded things, mm -hmm. so especially the murder, well, yep. w the murder of Slider, we're like, yeah, um, I'm buying in with that as thinking Project Utopia was behind it. Okay. Um, I do have allies. Uh, Allies five Excellent. as when I started kind of putting the sheet mm -hmm. together. So that I'm figuring no matter what, we can use my allies to mm -hmm. kind of get me in with the, with the others. Cool. Aberrants are probably the group that is single most able to work with pretty much any other group. Not a problem. For what it's worth, folks, the Slider murder that Garrett is referencing, Slider is was arguably the world's most popular Nova. She was sort of a girl next door type. Um, Utopia has put together an actual superhero team called Team Tomorrow, which are sort of like the Avengers, would you say, Travis? Kind of Avengers meets X-Men? Uh, a good a good way to explain the, the Team Tomorrow is think of the seven from the boys, but don't make them as insular and shitty. That too, yeah. 
because uh, they're because the reason why I say that is they're like the world's titular superhero team, but they also get movies and thing and 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 uh, social media deals and yeah, they're like so they're distinctly corporate, you know. Yeah, they're they're the corporate team. Yes. Justice League International, sort of. Yeah, um, yes. Yeah, so she was a member of Teen Tomorrow. Uh, she was a teleporter, and she was brutally, brutally murdered while on assignment in India. And um, the official narrative is that her friend and former team, fellow Team Tomorrow member Andre Corbin murdered her, but nobody really believes it. And rumors are definitely circulating that Utopia had something to do with it. Um, regardless- she had, been, she had been reaching out to other mm -hmm. Novas to kind of warn them about underhanded stuff, right? Correct, yes. Um, yes. When you say un when you say underhanded stuff, what do you mean? Well, Utopia, among other things, they have a science and technology department. Uh, the UN has granted them a permanent non-voting seat on the UN Security Council, which has never happened to what's to what's effectively a private corporation. Um, Utopia has absolute oversight on any new research and development in terms of technology. And if they decide that something isn't in the best interest of humanity, they could just shut it down and confiscate it. In addition to that, uh, there is definitely some consideration that uh, a lot of folks are saying that Utopia exploits the Novas that it employs. Um, sometimes, to their detriment. There have been deaths of people uh, overusing their powers and dying from it, uh, that sort of thing. It, it's sort of a avalanche issue that, yeah, there's first there's been a couple of, yeah, hell, that's not quite that right, to, oh, oh, this is getting bigger, oh. And so far, everything's been able to be denied and there's no official proof, but people are really starting to talk and wonder. Also goes goes without saying that uh, the average thought about Utopia is that it's a good thing, and a bunch of people oh, yes. who are who are working in it are just normal people <laughs> that, are, that are trying to do good. It's mm -hmm. it's people are uh, the people who are starting to talk about it being corrupt. It's definitely a top down situation that the people at the top are doing something shady, but mm -hmm. the average worker is just a person. Correct. It oh. seems like the the Novas had been deployed a lot to like. India in the Middle East mm -hmm. yeah. and lots of Novas were dying there right. and the thing was okay what's going on there and so the you know word of mouth was that there was some interest there on the part of Project Utopia where Novas were being exploited and killed and it was mm -hmm. and there was an agenda that no one was being told. Correct. Incidentally, I'll go ahead and, and mention this now that uh, Travis knows the aberrant mechanics as well, if not better than I do. That's um, awesome. Yeah, so he may very well know a rules answer off the top of his head that I might have to look for, and I am fully on board and supporting of that. If he comes up with something and I, it may there may be an issue, a point when I'll say, yes, that's correct as far as the book goes, but for this point in the narrative or by rule of cool, we're going to do it this other way instead. But Got it. Travis, Travis knows the rules, and I, I fully support him answering rules questions. You know, I should have probably mentioned this when I was introducing this mm -hmm. session zero, but for if people are actually out there watching, listening, we're talking about the 1999 version, the White Wolf <laughs> version, because there is a yes. uh, uh, D20 version as well, right? There's so. a D20 and there's a new in the last couple of years story path version, yes. Okay. But that's much more complicated. I have a question about the um, about the organizations because, yeah. okay, like you said terrorist, right? But I, I actually- Described as. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah, that's what I was kind of wondering because like now that you're sort of talking about potential like abuse of novas mm -hmm. and stuff like that there is something somewhat interesting to me about like playing a character who's working against the man mm -hmm. not as a like i don't want to be a evil villain terrorist who's <laughs> like you know that mm -hmm. kind of thing but at the same time i think it could be interesting to maybe go in that other 
sort of mm -hmm. direction. I mean, one man ter one man's terrorist is another man's freedom fighter is another man's insurgent. Mm -hmm. True. So. <laughs> but I, I also don't want to like, I don't know this game very well. Mm -hmm. I mean, Garrett's already got a pretty strong concept. Travis as well. I don't know how far you've gone yet, Howard, but you're usually pretty good at reading stuff beforehand, unlike me doing no homework. Um, <laughs> so I'm, I'm kind of like willing to go along, you know, with what other people mm -hmm. want to do. And if that's the case, I'll probably play white privilege um, <laughs> because he's such an easy character to to integrate into any mm -hmm. party circumstance and he's useful in the sense that he's got contacts and money and stuff so mm -hmm. um but if not if people are willing to go into a sort of uh i don't know if other well, people want to go down that path of of working against the system a little bit mm -hmm. i mean i'd be interested potentially in that but i'm also mm -hmm. up for other if other people have other thoughts concepts that they want to do i mean i, I just kind of want to I guess I'm I'm really on board with the notion of us being kind of like a group already. I don't really mm -hmm. want to waste a lot of time like in that other part right. of the game, you know? Right. Well, um, the other thing too is that because yes, Novas are superheroes, but they are still human. There's absolutely no reason that y'all can't have multiple loyalties. Like, okay, Garrett's going to be an aberrant. Cool. A lot of aberrants actually still work within Project Utopia, and a lot of aberrants are closely allied or even claim membership in the Terrigen. And um, I figured also with me taking, because I started putting a lot of stuff down on the sheet already, mm -hmm. but I, one of the things, uh, Rob, y'all played a lot more White Wolf than I have in the recent years. I am really out of practice with characters in White Wolf creation games. So, yeah, I know, I see your face, Amanda. I actually, it's been since the Pam, I really haven't touched White Wolf systems. No, I just don't, I'm not sure that, that Rob and Gretchen have played White Wolf in years, but oh. I could be wrong. <laughs> I was thinking, it's I was thinking. Actually, I just, you know what, you know what, that's, yeah, the last time I played, I played, uh, we played Mage. Mm -hmm. um which was but so that fun. was close that to place. a decade ago <laughs> i know i was thinking about oh god the other. older we get the faster time that was a dec wasn't that just like a year to oh dear god no that was 20. <laughs> uh yeah, it's been a while since we played werewolf together buddy <laughs> I mean, Dragon Lance has been going on for three years you don't have yeah. to remind me i'm old travis <laughs> yeah, the, the face fur does that just fine yeah yeah I, we both I, went gray buddy and i have so, no experience I, gray, I would I went straight to why. Oh, so you got a the, toddler. <laughs> so one of the cool things about Aberrant is that uh, you can basically do any superhero trope you want. You can be, you could do the uh, the super friends thing. You could do the, you can do the uh, you can basically do transmetropolitan. Hang on one second. Not only that, but uh, in the aberrant rules, there's you can have the normal superpowers of pew pew pew, fire beams and stuff like mm -hmm. that, or teleportating, teleportation rather, telepathy, telekinesis, blah blah blah. But you can also have mega attributes, which are basically, mm -hmm. hi, I'm human, I look human, but I can lift a bus. Yeah, super yeah, super strong, strong. super smart, super whatever. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. sorry, super charismatic. Food showed up, but yeah. So, so if we're gonna if we're gonna be talking about uh, allegiances, uh, I know I know the the backstory that I've been talking to Amanda about uh, for for the character that I'm making. Uh, he he leans kind of kind of anti utopia. He doesn't trust them. Uh, so I would be down with either being just a municipal, a municipal superhero, just for him. He he'll he'll be in the group regardless, or or also aberrant at this point. If we're if we're already an established. Uh, Nova team. Your your mic is going in and out. Hello. Hello. I can hear you. I could hear everything you said, but it was crunchy. Yeah. Okay. Crunchy. Yes, that's a good word. Crunchy. Let me let me finish pouring this drink then. Um, can you hear me better now? <laughs> Us overachievers, Gretchen, never. <laughs> yes, Travis. I think you're better. Yeah, I okay. think the one thing I didn't want to do this time uh, is um, 
the last few games I've played in across the board, I've kind of been the support character with the healing and the buffing. Um, I this time I'm actually playing more of a rogue like character. Sweet. Okay. Uh, so less of the I I won't necessarily be there to lay on hands and burst heal and buff whoever's gonna be a flying team sheet. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so so basically what I said when it went crunchy I mean I wouldn't uh, mind going towards a character that might have some healing or that kind of in that kind of direction um, I like the terrorist thing mm -hmm. it doesn't sound like that is necessarily in opposition to either what Garrett or Travis are planning on doing um, but you know, I, I did want to ask, though, before we get started, are we doing any sort of, like, um, are we going to be utilizing any, like, safety tools or anything like that? I mean, I, I know we play, all have played together plenty, but this is a modern game, so it's a little right. bit different. Um, when you say safety like, tools. Yeah, like, it's one thing to, like, murder a bunch of innocent hobgoblins. It's another thing to, like, blow up a building and kill a bunch of, like, innocent people. I don't, I don't mean, I don't care, right. but I just don't know if anybody else has any feelings. Oh, like okay. Gotcha. Let's kind go of the ahead and... Sure, let's go ahead. Yeah, let's go ahead and have that discussion. Um, I would prefer to not do an X card just because I think it's a flawed tool that shuts down communication rather than facilitating it. Instead, I'd like to propose lines and veils or fade to black. How do y'all feel about that? I'm for fade to black. Uh, yeah. Plus, yeah, I mean, okay with fade to black. and I guess this is a good, good thing to kind of ask. Um, you know, we're at a point now when we're kind of thinking concepts. So my character is an aberrant. He doesn't trust Project Utopia, but clearly he values taking care of people and wanting to be a hero. Um, I mean, I think it's safe to say that even for the Terrigen, they're looking out for the betterment and protection of Novus. Correct. They're, they're not actively looking to eradicate humanity. There's a very small subset within them that are, but they're kind of side-eyed by the main body of them. It, yeah, those are a little bit out there. Makes are you sense. talking about Terrigen? Yeah. Makes um, sense, because if it's the movement as a whole, they would be dealing, they'd have much more pushback from the rest of Nova's problem. Let, let, me, let me propose something here, though. What if we thought of it instead of this? Like, what if... I mean, because I hear, you know, a couple of you are are looking at Aberrant or sort of this independent thing. We could even, if we want to have start, we want to start off as being like a, an established group or whatever, mm -hmm. we could have our own ethos. Like we could even mm -hmm. pre-establish like almost like, like, because I don't really particularly want to like be eradicate humans or any of that i mean we could just be like a group that's trying to pursue some sort of ideal or or concept that we all agree on like as mm -hmm. players that could be interesting as well that's not tied specifically to an organization um sure. even sure. though we are like aberrant or whatever it might be you could be an independent team that each of y'all had your own affiliations or not as y'all saw fit that have come together for an agreed upon purpose. I like that. Um, yeah, at that point, uh, that Chattanooga could very the city, the like city hall could have easily hired y'all to come in and solve this problem because y'all weren't affiliated officially with any of the major groups. If y'all wanted to go that route, for me, it makes sense that our characters could have all met in like mm -hmm. a Project Utopia training. I mean, I mean, they were there when we erupted and had to learn how to use our powers. Yeah, uh, let's go ahead and explain that briefly. Um, I'm sorry, I cut off. I think I started at the same time Travis did. Oh, no, I said, I said you're, uh, the concept that I have, you didn't need <laughs> Utopia. Okay. Um, one of the things that Project Utopia has done has established Mashon Rashaud clinics in pretty much every major city that is such that when a new Nova erupts, that Utopia will immediately reach out to them, uh, take them, Vol more voluntarily, but with heavy encouragement uh, to the clinic to get them checked out, you know, give them a physical, the whole nine yards, make sure that they're safe, but more importantly, to teach them how to safely control and use their powers so that they don't randomly, you know, 
knock over buses or blow up buildings because people kind of frown on that. Um, and yeah, there's heavy indoctrination into the ideology of utopia and the greater good of humanity or whatnot. But again, it's voluntary with heavy encouragement. So unless you have a concept like Travis's that very specifically is, I did not go to a utopia clinic, you almost certainly learned how to be a Nova at one of these clinics, whether or not you choose to become a member of Project Utopia. I, now, if I you choose to have a, a no clinic concept, cool, go for it, be my guest. But that is the default. As much as I would like to avoid Project Utopia, mm -hmm. you and I talked a little bit about my backstory. Uh -huh. Where would, would, do you know of a better story based idea on uh, where I would have learned how to use my powers? I mean, um, I'm a, do university centers have anything like that? Um, not really. Utopia is kind of, um, kind of made itself the only approved game in town. I, I think that it might be easier for, for what you've been discussing that you might have, that they might have helped you with the obvious stuff and kept the, the rest of it on the down low so that like basically you're on file but they don't have much in the way of information this does that make sense uh but question. like I say if you want to avoid a utopia clinic avoid a utopia clinic i'm not pushing you into it question because of some of the elements that my character has to keep secret um mm -hmm. in the backstory that i'm thinking about Mm -hmm. Could I have had a Project Utopia trainer, maybe, as an ally who maybe sure. knew my dad? And that, that way I got the advantage of their training yeah. without necessarily being yeah, in absolutely. their loop. Sure. Yeah. I mean, they would likely have still have, like, entered your name on the database, but they, but they would not have, like, DNA samples or whatnot yeah I, I think that's probably a good a good thing then for for what i'm trying to do mm -hmm. Ooh, uh, disintegration okay. yeah I, I, sorry i saw the question <laughs> in chat for entropy and i like and decay i was like i <laughs> honestly i really i really like the idea of um mm -hmm. multiple characters coming together for a common goal mm -hmm. um and if we're going to go that way and like of course everybody should agree to this not just you know one or two but if we're going to go that way i would like uh at least on my character side, to be fully independent. You just join the group to help. Okay. I mean, I'm fine with that if y'all are. Yeah. Because the aberrant faction, really, are they an actually organized? They're sort of cell-based because they're so underground. So that's, um, that seemed like a really good one for allegiance yeah. for my character. Mm -hmm. You know, he would have contact with his local cell, but, you know, that's, yeah, you know, I'm I'm good with that too. I think um, I like the idea of being connected. Like maybe I, I would be happy to have whatever my character ends up being connected to one of y'all or more than one of y'all based on the experience at Utopia. And to me, mm -hmm. some of the maybe we could have even learned something or seen something that helps inform whatever that core it gave you the hesitance. Is. Yeah. yeah. That, well, I mean, if you're going to go, if you're thinking Terrigen, Rob, you know, what you see at Utopia might definitely, put, I could see that pushing you towards the Terrigen side. I like the idea mm -hmm. of being more like a unified, I, I'm thinking maybe away from Terrigen personally now. I okay. think it would be more interesting to have it be like, we are that group. You know <laughs> what I mean? We're not like Terrigen, we're we have our own ideal that we're like pushing yeah. and maybe sometimes that crosses the line of like what these other organizations are okay with <laughs> we're uh, just as yeah. chattanooga hey or nothing wrong with it who were the great lakes avengers <laughs> that is a better one <laughs> i nom i nominate uh garrett to be squirrel girl <laughs> hey squirrel girl is awesome she took out thanos she you has check out Dr. Doom. Too. She has she has never lost on on screen. That is true. You know what? How are how are Howard and Gretchen feeling about the idea of a of a sort of independent like coming together team? Ah, uh, okay. So the 
Okay, so far I have the I've got two concepts and they've both accidentally kind of aligned with the US government. Um one of them has been one of them's kind of like an FBI agent or something similar and they were brought in specifically for the serial killer case. Um but considering my character's backstory, I can definitely see at some point having come into contact with the re with the rest of the player characters and establishing alliances if we're all based in Chattanooga specifically uh I can definitely come up with something like maybe I was born and raised here and then ended up joining the FBI and came back um but um yeah yeah it's I I was thinking in terms of the serial killer angle just because hey it's the plot line let's go for the plot line um but um I'm so far I have not established a superpower for my character yet other than a couple of mega attributes just in terms of uh, being able to do a couple of things I was thinking of a face like character just to be able to go hello I am here to interact with people only this kind of turned into I'm agent Decker blah 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 I'm here for the investigation and being able to sort of force my way into like police investigations that way um but yeah the the superpower like if there's any actual Nova full-on powers I haven't picked those out yet but I'm leaning towards at least a couple of mega attributes in terms of charisma and appearance so that's kind of where my character is sort of going in terms of any any allegiances like Terrigen or aberrants I am definitely I can definitely be on board and I can just be someone who works in the government who knows you guys but I don't know anything about any of your any of your other political activities. These are just informants who I've been coming into contact with. And then um, but Howard's the A team uh, liaison. On the... <laughs> Only not as dickish. <laughs> yeah. General Stockwell was a dick. It was just like all I could think why? about is the A team. <laughs> Howard yeah. is the Chattanooga government government official Nova that that has been integrated in this group to keep us together. <laughs> I like that plan. Yeah, yeah that sounds good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you go. Yeah. All right, excellent. All and right, Rob, you were totally muted. No, I was talking to Gretchen. We were just discussing. <gasps> okay. Because like, okay. you all came with characters created, and Gretchen and I hadn't even downloaded the books. So uh, well, it's a little bit confusing, and I, I thought we were all going to come here and make characters together. We and are, like, yeah. and like, but like you guys already have concepts and stuff. So now I'm starting to think like, well, how can I like work with what people are making? And well, let's go ahead and get into that because all mm -hmm. concepts are somewhat malleable. I know that no matter how many times I've come with a character pre-thought out, it's changed by the time I've hit session zero. So let's oh, go God. ahead and get started with character creation. Yeah. Yes. Well, rule what I originally pictured her being in Ravenloft is not what she ever became. <laughs> um, and that's the general. Like, I mean, yeah. I've got the, the backstory that I've been thinking about with my character and what I want him to be thematically but Sorry. the way you know but that thematic component of the character is extremely malleable right. so you know my backstory what i was kind of thinking of is i wanted a character who would be roguish <laughs> so i was trying to think okay well, it's you know aberrant is not like champions it's still set in the world of dark uh, you know white wolf's dystopian Mm -hmm. it's not all love and light you know right. comic book here yeah but this is not world of darkness there are no vampires there are no werewolves right this is modern world plus superheroes well, okay i mean uh, well 2009 anyway. yeah well <laughs> <just you. laughs> i love okay. that i think that's yeah. so great i mean awesome the In future the... was 2009 i know <laughs> <laughs> and what's horrifying is that some of the other books that have like setting updates and material weirdly predicted a lot of what's been going on in the country in the last two or three years mm -hmm. like scarily so like aberrant predicted QAnon 
I mean, I don't really even think it was that hard to see because well, the granted. Tea Party and all that stuff had started yeah. like doing their nonsense. Yeah. Even before okay. this, you know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now I know that y'all. I gave y'all the link to the folder with all of the Google Drive stuff in it. In the sheets and extra folder, there are well sheets. Uh, among other which are the uh, interactive PDF character sheets, or you've got your printed character sheets. Awesome. Cool. The nifty keen one page short version of the character creation is in the core book on page 120. That's what I'm talking about. Awesome. And we will begin. Uh, right. Yay. Uh, I think unless y'all want to start out with nature, that tends out almost to be a thing that gets decided a little bit later. Uh, so let's go ahead and start with attributes. Uh, you've got physical, social, and mental attributes, and you will prioritize them into primary, secondary, and tertiary. Uh, you'll have one dot that starts out for free in each of those, as you see on the sheet. And you will distribute seven dots into your primary, five dots into your secondary and three dots into your tertiary. Does that make sense or does it require further information? Can you just give me those numbers again? I'm sorry. Sure. Seven, seven under your primary. Three. Yeah, seven, five, three. And you start out with a free dot in each one, which is already filled in for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. I do appreciate that White Wolf, White Wolf is consistent with that. Yes, and I just appreciate that White Wolf gives these fabulous one-page things. <laughs> yes. But can we talk about the fact that it, like half the book is built up before you ever get to character I creation? Like, I know. The, the first half of this, the setting stuff in Aberrant in particular is just amazingly well done. But I think that might have been one of, one of the things that counted against them. Possibly. It was, I'll, I'll read it. I, I, I ordered a, a copy of the book. Yeah. This one. So I'll um I'll read that stuff because I actually oh, yeah. think that's really cool. Like mm -hmm. there's mm -hmm. a couple of games that have come out that are really heavy on this is the story of the game before they ever get into mechanics for literally like a hundred plus pages. I kind of love it when games do that. Mm -hmm. Because it's like, okay. it's so count, it, it feels so weird to me to not start with like character creation. That's yeah. the end, right? You always like start with character creation. Mm -hmm. So to be like, no, before we do that, we're actually going to need you to read 150 pages about the setting. Right. <laughs> well, I but mean, you could argue that that's almost what we've just been doing for the last, you know, 30 minutes. True. Was that the first 100 pages? <laughs> All right. There Here's is the one so thing. Far. There's one thing that I think is really valuable with the White Wolf in this that is distinctive from other games other games are giving you the mechanics to place your characters into any world that you're wanting this could be a homebrew world this could be a campaign setting world but dnd &D is the mechanics for instance mm -hmm. so when we're looking at character creation in aberrant they're giving us this is the game world that you are creating your characters in i think mm -hmm. that is a uh, a fundamental value difference yeah. between the, this. You're not just here's a super system. Uh, no good in the core book. If you wanted no, a super no, serious system, you'd have champions. I agree with that entirely. But it's such a crazy thing to ask it. people to read 150 pages before they even start learning how to make characters. You know what I mean? Like, and I, but I love that. I just think like, mm -hmm. but I guess to a certain extent, if you're playing a White Wolf game, if you if you're jumping into the White Wolf superhero game you're expecting a lot of story mm -hmm. i guess it's a little bit more i, I guess it, i can kind of understand it it's it's more story and less crunch for sure yeah yeah for and sure. i think this is something unique about white wolf, white wolf games you know again um you know with the some of the stuff coming out on the ogl 1.0 one of the comment from people has been you know players are a lot of gamers are looking for worlds rather mm. than just mechanics yeah um so, do we do does any do we know who's wanting to play what like faces or or beaters or if i'm gonna be i want behind the scenes uh mm -hmm. this time which is like investigator like a mental type um more stealth you know okay. almost more of an assassin type 
build. Um, Gretchen, just FYI, the more detailed descriptions of the attributes start on page 134 of the core book that actually will tell you like the details of how strong various dots are and how smart various dots are, that sort of thing. Yeah, what was challenging to there me back and forth, yeah. chapter two tells you what your, your starting dots are, mm -hmm. like your seven, five, three, you get this many dots of backgrounds, but you have to go to chapter three in the PDF <laughs> to know what any of those things are. Okay, so does seven, five, three, uh -huh. um, is that for each section, so physical, mental, social, or is that I pick uh, one of those categories? That is so, I, it's driving me. Okay, so, so basically choose mental, social, Thank physical you. as your primary, and for that primary, uh, you'll, you'll put seven dots in, the, in strength, dex, and stamina. For your secondary, it's five in the the three that have a dot and your tertiary you only get three right that, and it, nothing can go above five dots total think of it like is your character mentally focused are they very strong but they're not really good at being at talking okay. uh are they very smart but they're not um uh, gotcha. but they're so like I, a wimp lip noodles so be, yeah. yes Gretchen. so i just pick three attributes to start with. So I pick physical, intelligent, charisma would be the example. No, no, no. Uh, no. So, so no. if you notice how on the sheet they're broken down, like under physical, you see strength, dexterity, stamina. Yes. Okay. And under those, those are abilities. That is your physical attribute stat. Uh, so you'll choose. Hold on, guys. Let me just show her on her character sheet because I think she'll sure. understand if I point it out on the character sure. sheet. That works. It's the right. ones in bold. Yeah, I actually ran into some trouble with that on the fillable PDF, Amanda, mm -hmm. uh, because the that fillable PDF it has the main abilities, but then the then the mega underneath it. Yeah. yeah, and I'm like, yeah, that was a little awkward. I'm not used to seeing. I'm used to those abilities being broken into separate. A separate yeah, issue. me too. And uh, they are actually broken out separate on the the printed out version. Okay. Yeah. Now something that might be handy. And just to kind of say, because I know uh, Gretchen is looking at this. So if, if you're looking at the idea of decay, you know, are you looking at something that you can do from a distance or do you want to have to touch? Because that would affect what what attributes she wants to, to prioritize. Mm -hmm. um, like I kind of knew what pow my powers, you know, I'm one of the ones like, you know, I wanted a density control. So I kind of, I didn't think that strength would be as important for my character. Mm -hmm. um, right. Did Rob get you sorted out, Gretchen, or are you still confused? I think we got it. You got it? Yeah, she's got it. Okay, cool. I think it was just not like you just have to show on the sheet, you know, like here's the thing you're filling in. It's not obvious. I don't think to people who no haven't played this game before. No, it's yeah, not. No this, no, this is the aberrant character sheet it could be laid out better. <laughs> and I also have zero experience with White Wolf, so you're... No worries. I, I thought you played be... Vampire. No? No, okay. I read a lot about it and I wanted ah. to, but my friends were more into ElfQuest, so... ElfQuest is awesome. Yeah. ElfQuest is yeah. awesome. And I will say the beautiful yeah. thing about... I'll play Vampire Weave. <laughs> <laughs> the beautiful thing about White Wolf, to me, Gretchen, is White Wolf is not terribly... It's not a terribly crunchy system. Mm -mm. Like, it's... Like, let's face it. When we're doing Pathfinder, it's this <laughs> plus this plus this. I feel like I'm doing trigonometry to know what I need to roll on an attack. Sometimes. Um, yeah. No, it's yeah. this... It usually... White Wolf, it's just figuring out, I'm rolling this many dice and I just need a seven or better. Yeah. Done! <laughs> Excellent. Have we, have we distributed all of our attribute dots? Uh, or are we still working? I'm still working. You're still yeah, working. I'm Take still your working time. All is well. I haven't even, I don't know what my concept is. <laughs> well, actually, so Travis asked about that. And mm -hmm. um, I was kind of thinking of being like uh, somebody who's really smart, um, kind of like... Uh, 
you know, a bit of a doctor or somebody that knows how to use computers can like mm -hmm. kind of do a lot of things like that kind of sure. sort of the direction okay. that I want to go in and uh -huh. maybe enhance those abilities, um, you know, maybe able to kind of like connect with stuff in that way, in some sure. way, like help like the group. cyberkinesis sort of perhaps. I don't really, I want it to be a little bit more mechanical in a way somehow. I'm not really sure how that would work oh, out. Uh, look at, look at mega intelligence. Yes, definitely. So, so I'll go ahead and go into that right now, even though we'll get to it eventually. Uh, mega intelligence is basically uh, superhuman uh, normal stuff like strength, stamina. And mega uh, attributes. Mega here. attributes, yeah. yeah. So yeah. like, if you have like, you can have in this game no actual powers, but nothing but mega attributes and be ridiculous. Um, for instance, if you have like you're crunching again, you're breaking up, Travis. Sorry, you can have mega attribute. You can have mega attributes and no actual powers and still be ridiculous. Um, like for instance, you can have like mega strength five and suddenly be able to like pick up a building, uh, stuff like that. You don't. So the powers themselves are cool, but not necessary to be an effective superhero. Mm -hmm. uh, and in, in under each mega attribute, there are uh, focuses, basically specialities that allow you to, to, that give you extra stuff. Like for instance, under mega, mega strength, there's one that basically lets you do the Hulk leap, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so if you're wanting to be like a super intelligent thing, I would absolutely recommend looking at mega attributes. Mm -hmm. They're, they're, they're cheap. They're easy. Yeah. And they're actually, kind of ridiculous and fun yeah, yeah i'm thinking of a, mm -hmm. i'm thinking of like a female character who like mm -hmm. can patch people up get into computers hack into things kind of get everywhere like get into anything sort of that type mm -hmm. of character but much more like rough around the edges than like a spy like i don't want it to be like like i'm not really thinking spy i'm kind of thinking almost terrorist type but almost not, like Angelina Jolie and hackers back in the day. Yeah, kind of like <laughs> the um yeah, like I I because I definitely feel I see her a little bit rough around the edges, like the kind of character that might actually wear like a camouflage, you know, jacket or something like that. Although she probably won't, but the kind of character that would. Yeah. You know, that you could also imagine being like in some gritty, like it, you know. I feel like there's a grittiness to this character that I'm thinking about. So Absolutely. I'm going to go in that direction. I mean, you know, in terms of Travis asked about like character concepts, I'm kind of thinking that that's sort of, that sounds exciting to me. So I might go in that direction. Awesome. I, um, I had this moment and I, Rob, when you were saying that, I, for some reason I had this moment where I was imagining your character hacking somebody's biology to start healing. Not necessarily you're like doing like healing itself, but it, I just had this image of you like hacking their body to get it to respond. <laughs> so I actually have a recommendation. Uh, if you look on in, in the core book under page 167, uh, mega intelligence starts on 165, but on 167, there's a, there's a, uh, uh, what are they actually called? Mental prodigy enhancements. Yeah. yeah an enhancement. Look at mental prodigy. Uh, you basically, uh, basically it's a bunch of, bunch of enhancements under one thing and one of them actually says uh says engineering which is basically whenever you look at a mechanical device or electronics you have an innate understanding of how they work um but there's also like tactical and medical this is, and this is perfect this yeah. is exactly <laughs> what i'm thinking of so so like if and the the cool thing about uh mega attributes is that for every dot you get an enhanced well for your first dot you get one for free the enhancements are kind of cheap so you can actually take mental prodigy multiple times and have multiples of uh multiple uh systems so but also you can also take eidetic memory where it means you just never forget shit stuff like that oh, this is this is perfect yeah thanks travis this is great <laughs> I'm suddenly thinking about Amadeus Cho. Kind of. Yeah. Um, I've dropped the spreadsheet in the Facebook chat and Howard linked it on the Zoom chat uh, that there's actually a tab there under 
uh, quantum powers and then a separate set for all the mega attributes that give like one line descriptions of what all the powers do. So it might be easier to just take a look at those uh, and see if there's something you like there as well. Um, what page is that on? Uh, what, what I was oh, just talking about? Yeah, that's well, the spreadsheet. Uh, oh, okay. The, the, right, 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 right. Sure. Okay. Um, Tell some added superpowers creating Excel sheets for RPGs. Sadly, <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, yeah, Gretchen, do you have a particular comic book character that that you like or that you wanted to maybe do something similar to that that we could start as a basis from or um play the brute it's really fun i i could i've never played a brute um well i read you know brute is much fun. different comics i think <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe not what comics did you read um so i read a lot of the goth comics that oh, didn't like have heroes Bloom um, cookie Bloom cookie was one yeah okay. um but you know i can go for a brute i think that does seem like it could be an easy thing um okay so fun to play it seemed like it, it's very much a joy to play uh, amanda you remember um what's his name uh Drew's Drew's brute that he played in that yeah. uh, what, in, what, in what, masterminds with the his masterminds. Yeah. God, I love that brute character. He, he was, was so a good fun. Guy. But, yeah, brutes are fun. I mean, I've been playing Gort for years mm -hmm. now. It's just fun yeah. to yeah. I so, get I mean, default what, to fighters. So. What would the main ability be there for that? Because I I see brawl. I guess would be it. Is that yeah. so? So when it comes to abilities, you're going to get a bunch more dots later to to put yeah. in those. Um, so like for your physical, I think you get like what, 14, something like that. Uh, um, well, no, once it comes down to, to doing abilities, then it's just, uh, uh, oh yeah, you get a 23. Yeah. yeah you get just 23 abilities. <laughs> I wouldn't put worry about those. abilities so much right yeah. now, Gretch. I would worry about putting your, um, your, your attributes, attributes right. down. So, okay. like, so, then, so you'll put seven in physical if you want to be the physical, one of the physical right. characters. I would say you'd probably want a lot of strength. A decent amount of stamina, dex, maybe so, maybe no. <laughs> All right. You so think I I'm gonna dodge. Up. Yeah, I mean, the question then becomes: I mean, do you want to be tough enough to take it, or quick enough to not get hit with it? <laughs> or, or so strong that when you thump somebody, they explode? Because you can do that in this game. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Like seriously, <laughs> like when you get to mega attributes, if you look at mega strength, mega strength five basically means you can pick up half the world. Like, like it's right. ridiculous. Cool. So nothing goes above a four, correct? Nothing goes above, above five. Five, five above which includes five. the one dot that you get for free. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. And then once you've picked out your physicals, you do the same thing with your socials and mentals with either five or three, depending on whether you want to be smarter or, or more social. <laughs> hey man, I think I've decided I'm going to go with the the mental physical hybrid. Okay, cool. Um, I'm going to take one. Of, I'm going to take that social social mega at just at one because that mm -hmm. that's a no, That's all I really need for him. Yeah, that's cool. And as he grows, if he gets more, then he gets more. You know. Yeah. I cool. ended up going face. Um, I've got four in charisma and manipulation, two in appearance. Uh, and then I went mental next because being able to see trouble means that I do not get hit. And yeah. then uh, tertiary for strength, not the face, please. <laughs> <laughs> I went primary mental. So mm -hmm. perception, well, wits, perception, and intelligence. Um, physical, I went secondary. So stamina, dex then strength well dex stamina then strength and last mm -hmm. appearance uh my character's only average at best which is very different than the rule <laughs> <laughs> i wanted something other than the pretty healer this time nice cool how we doing on attributes and folks my well, attributes i got um i focused First on mental as well, but I went the exact opposite way of Garrett, and I did mm -hmm. intelligence, perception, wits in that cool. order. Mm -hmm. uh, I did go all the way up to five on intelligence on that yeah, one. Go for it. 
Next, I went social, um, really with a focus on manipulation and charisma. Appearance average, just I want her to be average, actually. So I think that's perfect. Cool. And then um, lastly, physical um, with a with definitely a focus on dexterity. Not very strong at all, but see, dexterity. See, I, I like that martial arts is in there. I kind of felt like that almost felt more in line with, or melee with mm -hmm. my character than being able to brawl somebody anyway, so. Sure. See, what's funny is I also went mental mental primary, but my the, the majority of my dots are in wits. Awesome. So we've got I an also, intelligence and perception and a wits character. And I also did martial arts instead of brawl rob. So where that actually makes it, well. I did brawl that'll firearms. Be, that'll be a good synergy between our characters. Cool. How you doing, Gretchen? Okay, so is this where I select the subcategories now too? Or do I just, so like um, under? That'll be next step. Okay. Yeah. So right now, if I, I have physical, so I put most, I maxed out my strength and then went with stamina, but then that's right. And then we choose subcategories later. Are there are more ticks there, or does it, am I supposed to split these points up among the subcategories too? You're going to uh, get no. You're going to Go get ahead. 23 points to, to okay. spend on all the abilities and abilities are things like okay. brawl or computer and things like that. Right. And the, appearance, if I have a lot in appearance, intimidation is kind of where I want to go. I don't have to be pretty. I can be, I can yeah, intimidate. No. Yeah, absolutely. Correct. Okay. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. You can be ruggedly handsome or terrifyingly terrifying. intense. Yeah. There's actually even a, a mega uh, appearance Many. thing for terrifying visage. <laughs> yeah, it's great. It's fucking great. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. So we've got our attributes done. Awesome. Now we're going to go into uh, the next step is abilities. Those are all of the things uh, in that same section that are not in bold print. So that's going to be your brawl, your might, your awareness, your investigation, your intimidation, your style, all those. And if you notice, apart from endurance and resistance, they do not have any dots to begin with in them. Right? Okay. We're on the same team. Okay. Groovy. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Resist endurance and resistance have start with three dots each because you're Novas and you're special. You get a total of 23 oh. point. Why? What was uh, that? So on the, you said endurance and resistance start out with three dots in each. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cause the fillable sheet only has one. Oh, my history. Um, oh, let me update that then to put three dots in those. Okay. Sorry. No worries. My, okay. Mine, mine in the the drive. Huh, that's three, odd. So. Okay. Uh, oh, you get swear. How much do I? I want to bet that they were there, and when I was trying to kind of. You might have unclicked them. Unclicked, thinking that I had put yeah. XP into that. Gotcha. Sorry, don't mind me. No worries. Uh, you get 23 points to spend in those not bold skills. Uh, at character creation, or at this stage, none of them can go above three, though. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What was what's, the, what's, what's, what's the point total we started out with? 23. 23. 23, nothing higher than three. Correct, at this point. Because at this point in the sheet, we're creating a normal human, right? Correct. This might take me a little bit, guys. I got to be honest with you. No, that's fine. No worries. Yep. We get 23 points for uh, skill scratch. Okay. That you missed our abilities. Yeah. And, and none of us, the total can't be higher than the three. Correct. At this point. Is there, what? where do the descriptions of each of these? Oh, oh it's yes. They're on the, the, uh, the aberrant mechanic spreadsheet. Um. There is a, yes, they are on the Abbott Mechanics spreadsheet um, on the first tab. Uh, they're also in the core book and those start on page 136. Okay. I just realized that there were multiple tabs on this. I mean, <laughs> you are crazy. Oh my <laughs> God. Uh, Rob, now you know why I joked and said Amanda's superpower is creating Excel spreadsheets. This for RPG. is amazing. <laughs> this is how I so, learn games. <laughs> people out there that are watching this cannot see what we're looking at, but Amanda has made this is an incredible, she has organized everything from abilities, Q powers, body modifications, extras, all the mega attributes. And you just click on the tab and it gives you a brief bit of information and then the source 
of that material so you can get more. This is amazing. <laughs> Thank you. So I could pick mega strength as what my character is, and then there's subcategories of specialties. Is that mega, right? uh, mega, the mega ads come up much later. Uh, ignore those oh, for now and just look at the abilities below them. Correct. Yeah, you're looking for uh, the thing, uh, Brawl, Might, Athletics, Drive, Firearms, Legend yeah. of Maine, okay. it, yeah, but those, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. No worries. Think of it, think of it like building your person first, and then they erupt. Correct. Okay. I was going to say, that's how I, I was thinking mm -hmm. about it. Like, okay, what's my normal person before I got my superpowers? Mm -hmm. Now, I'll admit, a good chunk of this stuff I did I did early because I don't know the system, so I didn't want to, like, pester Amanda with questions nonstop <laughs> because Let me I ask you, have lots of those. Are we playing in modern days or are we playing in 2009? Uh, that is a good question, and I will leave that up to y'all's decision. Which do y'all prefer? It's easier just to I'm say it's 2022. Technology is like that's the technology level that we're exposed to. Well, in in aberrant uh, in two thousand nine, technology boomed and is actually far beyond where we are now. Like, mm -hmm. so like think think because Novas and Mega Intelligence people suddenly showed up. Suddenly, we had the iPhone twenty years early or ten years early, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, basically, the, we've cured AIDS. We've cured most forms of cancer. Um, right. Yeah, but no, it's entirely up to y'all. Uh, but y'all come to a group decision as to whether it's 2008 or 2023, or for that matter, 2028. I don't care. I think it should be 2008 because then we should, we have to imagine bad music from 2008 like playing as our soundtrack while we're gaming. <laughs> well, I mean, I <laughs> hey, one of mine. I'm going to point out that I grew up watching MTV when it was 24 hour video, so most music after the 90s was awful to me. Back when in, back when uh, Nickelodeon showed good cartoons. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just like break out my walk with tennis balls. Ducula. Hey, I remember the days of Danger Mouse. So do you all, Thank you do all remember? Do you all remember uh, Tabitha Sorbonne? Yes, that name sounds familiar. From the, uh, the the oh yeah from MTV News. Oh yeah. yeah. But um, she's going to be having and she's a, apparently she's like a like a famous photographer now. Yeah. And she is going to be having an exhibition in Savannah at Laney Contemporary. And Susan Laney's gonna set up an interview with me from awesome. her. Awesome. Talk with her. So I'm gonna get to interview Tavern Soren. How cool is that, right? That's awesome. pretty fun. You want to hear yeah. something that'll make us all feel old? Oh, you remember no. Kurt Loder? Yeah. Oh god. Uh -huh. He's 77. Oh, oh god. He was older then though. He was older then though. Yeah, that's true. He was born in 45. Yeah, but still. Oh. Seven, uh, then years old. No way. Mm. I don't believe it. I have to look it up. <laughs> Born in 1945. Mm. Mm. Travis, I'm already getting closer to 50. Now you're making me feel like I'm closer to 70. Yeah. yeah. Hey, he, doesn't man. Look that, he doesn't look that old in the picture on uh, Wikipedia, at least. Yeah. <laughs> That's what yeah. he, he, he's like, kind of phrased up a bit. Then, uh, yeah. So Amanda, you'll be amused that I, I reallocated some points. I actually did put some in biz. Of course you did. <laughs> actually, I like the spread that I, so I'm actually recreating the sheet as we go along as well, uh, because I'm kind of like meshing with what everybody else is to integrate the guy. Cause like, again, I made 15 sheets prior to this and all of them are varying, varying levels of the, of, of the concept that I want. Uh, so like, if no one was going to play, play the, the combat character, I was going to do it face investigator any of that like i had Dude, varying I versions of sheets for those 15 characters no i actually made 15 <laughs> i like i that's amazing work that's cool. between my since i work overnights at my job uh i've had nothing to do since since christmas what for like 11 hours at a go so i've been doing nothing but reading aberrant and making sheets to figure out what i wanted to play <laughs> Because you're there when people need you, and a lot yeah. of places are closed, have been closed. Yeah, and mm -hmm. the places that are over, overseas, like I, I'm a badass at. So, like when they call in and say, "Hey, I'm 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 broke," I take five minutes and I bring them back up. 
or I tell them it's not my problem. And they should go to their internet provider, <laughs> which is always fun. You'll, you'll notice, Rob, there was no surprise on my face whatsoever when Travis said he had 15 sheets. I just, <laughs> my first thought was only 15. Yeah. Well, that's, well, I mean, it's, it's, I, I had met you before. <laughs> I, I only have 15 sheets because I haven't played Aberrant in years. Like, if it had been like a vampire character, I would have probably like been like, well, here's my concept, here's my sheet, I'm done. Yeah. Uh, and then I would have looked at it and been like, I don't like it, and have made it like nine more times, but not, not 15. <laughs> <laughs> Like what I did, what I did with what I did with our with the Ravenloft character with Hero, I actually like, I think I made him four times just to before I became okay with him. You know, the funny thing is, I only ever make the one character sheet, but usually when I'm starting to make the character, they're like talking in my ear, telling me where I need to put the dots. Right. Uh, oh yeah, we call that got schizophrenia, full... Garrett. Uh, <laughs> Wait, all right. What was that, question. What was that? Oh, yes, question. Yes, Gretchen. How important is drive going to be in this? Are you going to... I You don't need drive to get from point A to point B in a car. If you get into car chases or need to do evasion type stuff, then yes. But to just be a driver, no, it's fine. Okay. Yeah, I honest, know I'm when gonna... it came to like Supernatural with Rob, drive was never like... Yeah, no. The you same don't have to the... drive a car unless you have a point in there. No. Mm -hmm. Same thing with computer. I mean, you don't need computer to check your email and do a Google search. But if you want to like program or hack then yes you do okay all right yeah. thank you no worries <laughs> okay so what was that saying about schizophrenia amanda when your characters talk to you in your head you call that schizophrenia <laughs> i call uh, it art i call it maladaptive <laughs> <day -driven. laughs> all right and so when it comes to stamina we can still put extra points in there even though there's already three um mm -hmm. No, no, uh, no. Okay. this is a, a separate step in the process. You'll be endurance. able to go back and add more stamina oh, later, but uh, not at this yeah, point. Endurance and resistance. Well. Endurance and resistance right. gets uh, is, is maxed out at this level already uh, okay. to signify right. that you're a superhero. Right. Okay. That's, but you'll that's be able right. to put more in later. Yeah. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the important question. We have to figure out what our superhero theme song is. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. Then you've got to decide if y'all want a group costume. <laughs> yes. <laughs> My costume no. is solid white. You would. <laughs> the character's name is Casper. <laughs> well, now we've got a name. All right. <laughs> Jokes write themselves. Exactly. <laughs> That is the only time so, so wait, I will wait, wait, wear wait. white is when I'm a guest. Okay. So we have a character that dresses in all white that is basically uh, that's basically named Casper, and then we have the lucky dude whose power is the power of white privilege. And I yeah, actually I'm, took. I'm actually taking the flaw, Travis. Uh -huh. I'm actually taking the flaw where I have to do the trademark, <laughs> and the trademark thing is I have to leave something that's ghost related. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> so I fear uh, there'll be rolls of Slimer stickers. <laughs> I had a few different potential names for my superhero. Now I'm going to go, go up and find them in in uh, the chat that I had with Amanda. Oh, I got my 20. Finally oh, sweet. Cool. How are you coming, Rob? Almost there. Happy, happy, joy, joy. I was about to take certain mm -hmm. abilities and then I was just like, no, that wouldn't make sense considering backstory. <laughs> Just like okay. mm, erase, erase, reallocate. <laughs> uh, with the abilities, uh, sure. skills, abilities, um, you cannot like the max you can make you can put into a skill right now is three, right? Correct. Right. Yes. Got it. Right. Okay. Yes. Travis catches up on chat. 
<laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm going to go. I think the, the character's name, this character's superhero name is going to be Advent. Nice. Are there 12 of them? No. Or 24, rather. 24. <laughs> there is a power for that. <laughs> hey, I used to think the lamest superpower in the Marvel Universe was multi -man, multiple man's ability to spit in the duplicates. Then I became an adult, and uh -huh. I was like, that power, that. oh my god. I would have one of me, uh, well, probably four of me doing NaNoWriMo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, it's just the Are fact that that, well, that motherfucker point. would be taking the Christmas tree down that's still sitting over here about three feet from me <laughs> because I ain't got around to it yet. I think I got my points done. Awesome. And I think the character's name might be might end up being um, Lady Libertad, but I I'm not I'm not sure yet. Cool, cool, okay. excellent. All right, cool. Uh, do y'all want to go over what y'all selected, or shall we just move forward? I mean, I'm down. I'll tell you what I got. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, fairly quickly, yeah, because right. we don't so want to. Yeah. I've got a dot in brawl and white. I've got two in athletics. I've got uh, two in awareness and investigation. Two in academics, one in bureaucracy, two in engineering, one in linguistics, two in science, one in survival, two in biz, uh, two in intimidation, one in streetwise, two in subterfuge. Awesome. Uh, without going into detail and dots, because I put a few more points with because some of this I've done previously. <laughs> uh, I've got uh, streetwise, subterfuge, and intrusion are, and investigation. Those are my main abilities. Because um, again, I'm trying to be the sneaky, sneaky rogue. <laughs> I've got some computer, um, and then only like a little bit of single dots and things like martial arts, legger domain, firearms, athletics, kind of just the I want to be able to have a dot in the skill mm -hmm. and because I can always update that with experience yeah. later. Oh, yeah, incidentally. Um even if you don't happen to have any dots in a skill, if something comes up and you need to roll the skill, I mean, if I call for like what Gretchen was asking about a drive roll, I mean, if you're doing evasive driving and don't have drive, it would just be a straight up dex roll. You wouldn't not be able to make it. It just would be a smaller dice pool. Just FYI. What's yeah, I'm the just trying to number? enhance the dice pool. What's it, seven? Is it seven, seven. or is it seven? Yeah, seven. So seven for hires or successes. Yep. Um, well, I'll go over what I've sort of focused on, um, you know, definitely the mental abilities, engineering, linguist, mm -hmm. engineering, medicine, and science, um, you know, are sort of like the main focus. And then I kind of tried to give her a little bit of like badassery, basically. So I gave her, you know, some martial arts and I kind of imagine, even though they're like only like a point here or there, but like, um, you know, athletics drive um streetwise intimidation um you know that kind of stuff that sort of just makes her smart but also kind of like cool badass awesome cool next so far i've got awareness three firearms two investigation three intimidation three style one uh bureaucracy two diplomacy three into interrogation three subterfuge three and then the standard endurance and resistance nice it's basically a super eight or like a like kind of like an fbi agent but based in chattanooga maybe as some kind of liaison or something or maybe i just work for chattanooga who knows Could be. yeah mm. cool question uh so i've maxed out i've maxed out brawl i'm almost maxed out in might and melee uh and then I have lots of points in intimidation, basically. The interrogation as well. So cool. So you've got those at, at the threes at this point then. Say again? Uh, so you've got those topped out at, at the threes currently, right? I you mean like I don't have anything more than three? Correct. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Awesome. <laughs> you okay. tell me what I want to know. I pop your head like pimple. <laughs> 
Awesome. Okay, cool. Excellent. So we shall move on to backgrounds. Backgrounds are cool. I like backgrounds. The details of backgrounds start on page uh, 139 in the core book. You get seven points worth of backgrounds. Um, and you do not start with any freebie points in any of those. So it's a matter of taking what you like. Um, I would specifically draw your attention to attunement. Um, because depending on what sort of powers that you take, uh, attunement is what allows your powers to expand to include things like your clothes or the things that you're carrying with you. So, for example, if you have a power that lets you turn into fire like uh, like torch, torch um, if you don't have attunement, then your clothes burn off. And when you turn your power off, you're naked. <laughs> Also, U fiber. Yes, uh, U fiber is basically your super suit um, that automatically uh, changes to, to work with your powers. It also lets you store some additional quantum energy and provide some soak. Uh, so that's a, a nifty background to have if you want to take it. Um, I'm sorry. Can you just tell me again what page this starts on? I'm I'm struggling to get there. One thirty nine in the core book. So the PDF might be a page or so off. Yeah, I was on 129, so I'm like, uh, yeah. I'm not, okay, got it, <laughs> right. got it. Cool. Um, so yeah, seven points uh, worth of backgrounds there. Again, nothing goes above five. Now, I wouldn't need any sort of attunement, right? Because like, I'm going more like super intelligent kind of, I'm not going to do a power. Cool. Right. So attunement is something that you can, you can also buy later. True. Yes. Like, I, I don't think there's anything that you later. can't buy later. Uh, no, I don't think so. How, how would it relate if it were okay? I think somebody tried to speak at the same time with Rob there. Yeah, I was going to say, I know a lot of times you need like a story-based reason for upping background attunement doesn't really need that right that would just really. seem like a spend next being get it yeah 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 um yeah i mean there's some white wolf games that say that you know backgrounds can't be purchased after that they have to be earned in play but uh, aberrant is not one of them so yes it's very cool if you have a, a good in-game reason but you can also just spend xp for it <laughs> now amanda here's a question for you then like I, I tend to like getting resources for my characters just because, it's frankly, use. it's useful. Yeah. Uh, now you don't want to be living in a tent under an overpass. <laughs> yeah. If we're, so, you know, if we're wanting to have the idea of a secret identity versus a public identity, mm -hmm. you know, like having resources five, you're mega wealthy, but <laughs> how do you keep your secret identity there? That would be the cipher background. Yep. Yes. Yeah, gonna, definitely going to do that. That sounds like that sounds great. Mm -hmm. uh, there's also the dormancy background, which mm -hmm. uh, basically dormancy is the art of turning off your novahood and just going back to being a baseline ordinary human. Which... At higher levels of dormancy, if you turn yourself off, there is no way to tell you're a nova unless some very specific powers or medical procedures are done to notice mm -hmm. that you have an MR node. You actually... cannot tell. You yeah, are not you... a nova you actually have like you can choose to have a separate form yeah mm -hmm. like you could have a human form and a nova form if you had dor a high enough dormancy if you wanted to go that route i'm really That's... disappointed that there's no backgrounds tab amanda there's only like seven or eight backgrounds dude <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's pretty. It's, I know, so, but I still want the book. <laughs> so it's the normal stuff like contacts, allies, resources, and then some of the aberrant stuff, which is dormancy, uh, mm -hmm. cyber, node, u-fiber. Right. I think dormancy, I, I might pick up later with experience. Mm -hmm. But right now, it seems like my character is learning how to use their powers. The idea sure. of hiding their powers takes a higher level of skill than what he currently sure. has. Makes sense. I'm going to have to. It might make sense for, um, for a brawler. Um, well, I mean, resources make sense for anybody because, I mean, you're, you're still a person. You need money. <laughs> um, well, question, like, do you want her to always be like 
or him, or whoever your character is going to be, do you want them to always be like super beefy or do you want them to be able to like beef up or do you want them um, to um, be able to hide who they are? Like Bruce Banner no. versus Hulk. Yeah. Yeah, no, it would be pretty obvious. Um, okay. Cool. So, so things that I would recommend then is don't worry about dormancy. Maybe take some cipher so you can hide your identity if you want. If you don't you have care. to. Yeah. Uh, but otherwise, allies, contacts, mm -hmm. resources, things like that. Because then yeah. basically, uh, you could have uh, a bunch of uh, you could have a network of like friends and contacts to help mm -hmm. you with stuff. For that matter, followers might be interesting too. In that, True. this is I mean, this is the modern world. Social media is very much a thing. And while followers isn't necessarily social media followers, Novas are inherently celebrities unless they go out of their way not to be. So like in a lot of the APs that I've seen, and even in a lot of the, the adventures that are published, like for the jump starts and whatnot, like Novas are like tweeting out to their followers, that sort of thing. Um, so I mean, that's, it might be an option. Then again, it might not be something you want to mess with. I would definitely look at Ufiber and Attunement for sure. Okay. And then it's how many points for backgrounds? Seven. Seven. And they, you can take anything up to five. Okay. Yes. So mm -hmm. my question, what attunement you versus U-fiber. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, I, let's say that I can, I can change my, like, I'm sneaking in somewhere and I'm going to look like a guard. Sure. I'm guessing the U-fiber, I can change it to look like a guard yep. and I can mm -hmm. change my face. Correct. But yeah, attunement versus U fiber. Do I need attunement? Like if I'm going to be doing a shape change and then attunement and then my clothes to shape change with me, even though they're normal clothes, or should I have the U fiber instead? Okay. A a attunement just means that when you when you use your powers, your the shit on you doesn't blow up or get disintegrated. Mm -hmm. If you want if you want to close a change, go U fiber. Correct. Basically, um, with attunement. If you wanted to to masquerade as a security guard, you would still need to have a security guard uniform and then you would attune it. And then when you uh, did your superpower stuff, your security guard uniform wouldn't get shredded. U-Fiber, on the other hand, if you wanted to masquerade as a security guard, you'd just say, hey, U-Fiber, be a security guard uniform. And it changes to be a security guard uniform. Okay. The downside is that while U-Fiber, it has the change, it has the not being affected by your powers. Uh, right. It has the little bit of armor involved in it, but mm -hmm. it does not, it's just clothes. Attunement, right. you can attune anything. Up to, there's like weightless restrictions based on how much of the attunement background you have. But with attunement five, you can attune an entire another person. So what's really fun about that is uh, for, say, Gretchen's character, if, if Gretchen goes, say, Mega Strength 5, but they attune their uh, cell phone, they won't be able to crush it. Right. <laughs> uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Unless Got they it. want to. Right, yes. Unless, like, for that matter, like, okay, if somebody was a teleporter, mm -hmm. then if they wanted to teleport somebody else, they would need attunement to be able to attune them to take them with them. If somebody had attunement, then... Also, uh -huh. they, they would need a tumor because if they teleport, they leave their clothes there. That too, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Right. Okay. So yeah, you so even... is just clothes, but they're really, right. really nifty clothes. Attunement is anything within weight restriction, particularly clothes. <laughs> so Sparky, it sounds... Cell phone. Yes. Got it. So Pace it maker. sounds like I want <laughs> both of them. Um, okay. It's not a bad idea. It's never yeah, a bad no, idea. No, it's not a bad idea. Right. And honestly, like at this at this stage, you, you could probably get away with U Fiber One if you just want the cl your clothes to be changeable. Right. Right. Like so, you don't have to be crazy with it. Yeah. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just I'm having to plan the things. Okay, I need to buy more of that. I need to buy more of that with my mm -hmm. bonus points and XP and stuff like that. So. Right. I mean, yeah. I I can tell you this. I can tell you the seven dots that I've got right now. I've already put them in. I have Cypher 3, Dormancy 2, and Node 2. And then I'll use XP to buy uh, probably some resources of contact and probably more Cypher and Dormancy. Cool. Ally, uh, for me, allies, attunement, Cypher, Node, and resources. Here it goes resources heavy, like, or goes background heavy like I do. <laughs> yep. Let me ask you guys something here. Um, so I'm thinking Cypher, U-Fiber, and Mentor. Okay. okay. Um, 
curious what you all think in terms of maybe the distribution of that, given the character that I'm trying to do. One one thing I thought would be cool, the U-Fiber, what I want to do is I want her costume or whatever, her, mm -hmm. her superhero costume, to be able to sort of um, almost be like a camouflage, like it, I might even say soft predator version. I was like, going like, to say like the predator you know, costume mm -hmm. where she kind of blends in with the background. Not exactly, but like maybe her, imagine if you have just like normal human camouflage, but imagine you always have the best version of it for wherever you are. Yeah, totally. So it doesn't look like necessarily like I'm like that blur, but right. that it's just like the clothes is just like perfect. You know what I mean? It yeah, be you're always appropriately dressed. Right. Yeah. And, right. And then of course, I mean, I think Cypher, I want to be able to have like that, you know, freedom fighter, rebel mm -hmm. doing stuff underneath the surface. Sure. Everybody knows. And then I want mentor because I think it'd be kind of cool to have somebody who is like, who has almost like taught me. I don't know. I like that, like wise voice who's, you know, maybe they know the truth or yeah. sort of a, a a, a back a sort of a character that's out there maybe that yeah how maybe. How, know. how how much do you want the mentor to be in, in, interactable in your life so and that's the thing that's why i'm trying i haven't put the point i think the, i feel good about the backgrounds i've chosen but i'm sort of like but trying to be on that. where i want <laughs> to go that will get me where i want to be and of course <laughs> we're just starting with, like essentially for right. some characters so like these could become stronger or something mm -hmm. right, along the which way. i'll also go ahead and tell you that probably around session three or four i'm going to give you the opportunity to redistribute points if you need to if you've spent something and it's not working out or not doing what you want it to do you'll have that opportunity um based on what you're saying rob i would think that probably one dot of u fiber is enough to start for you because that yeah. would give you everything that you wanted as far as that goes um and then for the rest personally i would just either just distribute it evenly or yeah split meet, them down the middle know. yeah bring in three that'd be about pretty badass yeah. uh at mentor oh, three oh, your oh. mentor your mentor actually has time for you at mentor two <laughs> they don't have much so mentor three is probably where you want to start yeah. if you want a, a mentor that you can actually like talk to on a regular basis yeah well Basically, I, I to ask Amanda, like, mm -hmm. how much do you want to that's fine Basically, at Mentor th 2, your your mentor returns your voicemails. At Mentor 3, there's a tolerably good chance they pick up the phone. <laughs> if that makes wow. sense. Wow. I'm kind of going, oh, wow, Mentor 2 is most PhD advisors. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I, kind of like the, I actually kind of like it thematically mm -hmm. that they're a little harder to get a hold of. Okay. You know, I mean, like then I have two to might be better to be the kind of okay. one that's answering the phone okay okay sure. I think I do this. um yeah and then i'll put four points in cypher so i like i'll have a really good deep cover i guess you might say awesome yeah awesome. Cy cyphers four and five are pretty fucking amazing yeah cool like like it's so cypher five you can make yourself forget who you are for a little bit yeah don't run c2 yeah <laughs> oh, so how are we how are we doing I think I've got mine, but I need to put a lot more points into backgrounds uh, to like really if, make this if, work. If you're not going to take much in the way of actual quantum powers, you're about to get a shit ton of dots. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. How you coming, Gretchen? I mean, I got some background stuff, but I might have picked too many, so we'll see. You picked... should have seven dots. I do have seven dots, but I picked five background stuff and split that's, them up that's so fine. that's yeah. not a bad that's not a bad thing is no. it at all no and besides you could when you get more dots later on you can always go back and buy some of those up if you want to yeah okay yeah it's cool all right so we're moving on then yes yes good okay cool yay back to that page good all right so now then uh phase one finishing touches record you've got three willpower to start out with which sucks uh extra willpower is a good thing May I request a five minute break? Sure. Sure thing. Yeah. 
been about two hours, so I just a little sure, break. Yeah, this is a, um, Rich and I need to order our food for our son and stuff too. So sure. Okay. Yeah. Right, uh, potty this break good sounds spot. good to me. Potty break. Thank you. No worries. And we're still live on YouTube. <laughs> so it's like, but so don't say or do anything you don't want captured on on the interwebs. Oh yeah, no, we're we're still live. We're yeah. it's like Howard, this is me me and Shame mm -hmm. are not necessarily uh on speaking terms. We filed for divorce a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm just kind of like I have my idea for my character and I've got a pretty good idea. I'm just wondering. I'm just wondering like where my bonus points are going to end up landing. Because I hadn't like some of the mega attributes look good, but then because it's like first you make your person and then you make like your person erupts into a nova and then you're having to figure out the powers and then how much are you spending on powers how much do you need to like you have to have a minimum quantum in order to have certain powers and it's like it's possible to do it but then you might get taint and it's taint could be interesting in a storytelling sense but at the same time it's like mm. so i know me personally i'm a taint four Ooh. Uh, oh, we still record. We're still live. Yeah, I took tank. Hi, Andrew. Uh, deliberately, like I wanted my character to actually have measurable time because of his backstory. Mm. So, uh, uh, I'll go ahead and mention my backstory for you and Travis. Uh, I'm assuming maybe Gretchen and Rob will hear it. If not, I can go back over it later. Uh, mm -hmm. My idea is that my character's dad was a Marxist scholar. Mm. And that when Novas erupted, he started doing research on Novas being used and exploited by corporations, governments, whatever. Um, and that they would get bound by, by contract law. So it was almost like a modern day indentured servitude. So there were lots of NDAs and lots of, you know, exclusionary contracts. Like if you quit, no longer work for us, you cannot use your powers in any way type of, type of contracts. And that when his research started getting published and getting attention, uh, my character entered his came to visit him, found him actually looking like he had committed suicide and other people standing there because they were making it look like suicide. So he actually saw that his dad was killed. And, you know, during the course of this, because they turned, they had guns, like they were full lot well not gun they actually had tasers because they were trying to kind of make sure it was not obvious and uh everything was entirely the you know my dad's my dad's dead don't kill me don't kill me don't kill me and that was the his eruption was that self-preservation instinct and his pot power was the density control and he literally slipped through the floor because it was like in a condo and he just, whoop, and that was how he got away. Uh, so right now he. Are you going to be hunted? Basic, huh? Are you hunted? I uh, actually have enemy four. Damn. Okay. <laughs> and I did that deliberately because in my character's eyes, he knows his dad was, was killed. He has no idea by who. And every person he has found that was involved with it has only opened up more questions. Like he's never been able to 
to figure out who really ordered it. And I went, I went flaw into me four because I wanted to give Amanda the, <laughs> the, the storytelling flexibility. And by my character not really knowing and the amorphousness of that, it seemed to fit that idea full perfectly. Yeah. Word. Yeah. yeah, I know what the characters are going to know about my dude is that he was a... I'm trying to see. He was somebody who was... Um, uh, who uh, worked in a construction area. And... Uh, his, his eruption was basically, uh, he saw a beam, an eye beam fall, uh, and pushed one of his, one of his coworkers or underlings out of the way. Cause he was, he was like one of the site managers, uh, the eye beam hit him and he shrugged it off. And so when, when, uh, Utopia came to try to like grab him, he just, he, he said no and left. <laughs> He's like, no, nah, I'm not doing that. Uh, but then like, as he, uh, as he, yeah, as he, uh, came to be known as a as a nova like he got he got basically told by the city like work with this group or 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 go go be part of utopia so he went i'll go work with those guys and that's how he ended up in the team <laughs> makes sense we can't have you just running around on your own you you need to be involved with something yeah, yeah. for some reason one of the major supers of uh of <laughs> one of the major heroes of chattanooga like was very adamant about putting him in the team. <laughs> he doesn't understand why either. So far, what people would know about my character, I'm Agent Thomas Hughes, just call me Tom. I, I'm just kind of normal. Does he look like Clint Eastwood? Does he look like Bruce Willis? kind of sort of but not exactly he seems kind of boring he follows the he flashes his badge and he's on investigations if there's something major going on in the city he usually like murders or something like that. he's um, he's kind of investigating but other than that he just sort of he ends up on some news broadcasts if the if if the cops need need some sort of guy if and they can't find their pr person or something but other than that he seems he's kind of boring <laughs> what the heck he's got um, the good jawline he, he he's 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 appearance too so he's pretty he's pretty normal but he he seems to be there and um anybody who's worked with him for more than a day or two uh knows he has a daughter named emily and sometimes she'll text him uh he'll end up getting getting a call usually when he's in a car <laughs> and he's and he's just talking with her just sort of like hey m dash how's it going and, okay kiddo you, you gotta you gotta work on your algebra homework i'm sorry honey it's it is what it is <laughs> that kind of deal nice. so. i can't blame her for not wanting to work on algebra it doesn't dance man it just lays there All right, cool. Everybody back. Everybody's back. All yeah. right. Uh, Yay, Robert. I, I I don't know if you and Gretchen heard. I was kind of giving a rundown of what was kind of the. I was thinking about what would, what was the, you know, background of my character. What was the the reason for him existing? Um, and that kind of guided what powers I picked and things like that. So, my character. Uh, his dad was a PhD researcher and he was studying the exploitation of Novas by corporations using things like contracts, non-disclosure agreements, things like that to basically trap Novas in kind of like a financial servitude. Uh, big shock, he was a Marxist scholar. Well, my character came in for a surprise visit from undergrad and found dad dead making it look like it was a suicide while there were actually people there uh, staging it. That was my character's eruption was the, they turned with tasers and things like that. And it was, oh God, don't kill me, don't kill me. They killed my dad, I've got to get away. And my character erupted and literally faced through the floor and just kind of fell through a few, few stories of building and got away. Uh, so his 
idea is what has what powers allow me to sneak around to find out who who hunted down who killed my dad um that also means i have a major enemy background or flaw because i don't know who did it they were clearly able to stage it and each person that my character has tracked down only led to someone else um so that's where you know, picking my powers of being sneaky, sneaky, and all that stuff came in. Awesome. I think something, but I got nothing for me. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds really cool. I love that idea. Like walking in on the staging of a suicide. That's pretty. Uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. That's the reason. It seemed to fit with the dystopian nature. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, so it's all everything is like intrigue within intrigue. Well, how would that play out in a super situation? And what the idea of a stage just, is, it, is it dystopian? It's not dystopian, Peter, is it? On the surface, everything is bright and shiny and clean and new, and everything is only looking better and brighter. Exactly. That's what there's, I mean. Yeah, there, there's no need to look below the surface. No, there's no need for that at all. Amanda, question. What are the odds that my character's dad might have actually gotten tipped off by some of the stuff from Slider on part of his research? That's definitely something that we can work with. It, it would almost seem to make sense part of my character's cynicism about uh, Project Utopia. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. We're back. Yes, we're good. All right. Moving forward. Yes. Let me turn that off. Good. All right. Excellent. We have come to we've completed backgrounds. Awesome. We've recorded our willpower at three. It's so creepy to see half of Rob in two different screens. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Oh my God, you're right. <laughs> Rob is an elongated man. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, all right, so we've recorded our willpower as being three, which sucks. Y'all might really want to buy that up. <laughs> uh, you have a base quantum score of one. You will almost certainly want to buy that up. Uh, your base initiative is uh, the total of your dex plus your wits. Wait, dex plus wits is what? Dex plus wits is what you roll to establish your initiative when we go into combat. So the cool thing about about uh, White Wolf games is the amount of dice you all you have to do is add dots together, right? Yep. So so if you have like three dex and three wits, your initiative is six. Right. So you roll six dice. Well, <laughs> I'm going to be low on that totem pole every day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be nuts. Yeah, awesome. Um, OK, uh, then your movement, uh, your walk rate is uh, defaults to seven meters. Your run rate defaults to uh, dex plus 12 meters. And your sprint. Take a step back. Start over okay. on your movement. I, movement. I, I didn't know we were writing this on our character sheet because I put it on the back of the character sheet I've been working on. So I there's, didn't see. There's space for it on the back there. Yeah. I know. That's the point. I was like, I don't see it anywhere. I was like, been looking for an issue and everything. That's because it's on the back. back. Yeah. So I actually need to restart yeah. on initiative because I was okay. like, I've heard the whole time you're talking about initiative Dex trying to find wits. it on the front of my character. Look, sheet. I know that one. Dex yeah, plus wits. Dex plus wits on okay. your initiative. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Okay, Chris. So the movement rate and the run rate is what? Okay, your uh, your walk is seven. Your run okay. is uh, your deck score plus 12. And your sprint is your deck score times three plus 20. The deck times three plus 20? Correct. 
What was that, Rob? Nobody told me there would be math. <laughs> 12. Can you guys hear me okay? Because we're using Gretchen's mic now. Yeah, I hear you fine. Yeah. What was run again? You said dex times. Uh, run is dex plus 12, and sprint is dex times 3 plus 20. Okay. And, yes. And those will change if you end up getting mega dex or you mega buy dex. more dex, yes. Yeah. Okay, now going back to the other side, you said willpower is at 3. Willpower starts at 3, and quantum starts at 1. And taint is at zero? Uh, taint starts at zero for now, though you might end up choosing to buy it up. Okay. Yes. Yeah, that when when it comes <laughs> to taint's, taint's fun. Uh, yeah. Taint lets you buy powers at a cheaper cost, mm -hmm. uh, but it gives you taint, which does fun things. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, we need to finish up with uh, yeah. bonus points. Uh, at this point, I think it's best to turn over to the Aberrant Player's Handbook because that's where merits and flaws are. That's this I book. enter six-year-old cackles every time you play tank. Yeah, I know, I know. It's one of the, the few things that they changed in, in the new edition that uh, they changed it to flux to prevent that sort of giggling. Well, I guess I should <laughs> say my inner 13-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> she, she's insane. You look uh, the Wheel of Time, like the first few books. Yeah. And um, I don't know if any of you have read those books, but- oh, yeah. Many times. They often in that book talk about the dark one's taint. Yes. <laughs> very, very often do they talk about the dark one's taint. Yeah. Once in you great de length and detail. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like I said, my inner 13 year old. David, without me starting to laugh, I just can't do it. I am a 13 year old boy. Yes, I am. Okay, uh, we're going to look at merits and flaws now, which is starting on page 69. In... <laughs> Not helping. <laughs> helping. <laughs> nice. Stick in all of you one. Okay. Um, now, merits and flaws are completely optional. If you don't want to mess with them, you don't have to, but they're really cool and they can give you extra points. Uh, basically, merits are things that you buy with bonus points to give you extra cookies. Flaws are, well, flaws that you take to give you extra bonus points to spend. Now, just for being you, because you're cool and special, you get 15 bonus points, which you're going to spend a little in a little bit. But you can take up to 10 points worth of flaws. Um, and you can buy as many merits as you want to spend bonus points on, if that makes you happy. Um, do you, are there questions or should I shut up and let y'all look through those? <laughs> master list of merits and flaws? Um, I don't actually think there is. That's one of the very few things that, see if it's in the directory. Else. You don't have an Excel spreadsheet for? Well, it's only in the one book. Shut up. Okay. Awesome. Garrett, no biscuit. Oh, nope, there is. <laughs> it's um, on the directory. In the, <laughs> uh, in the Sheets and Extras folder on the Google Drive, there's uh, a thing called Nova Directory, which is basically an index for about 80% of the entire game, not just the core book, uh, which lists all the merits and flaws. So there. Nah. I sent you a message on Facebook. Okay, you did, didn't you? I don't have access to that. Sheets and extras? Well, it says you do not have permission to view sharing. Oh, no. Let's see. So where is it? Master powers list? No, no. Mm -hmm. uh, not master uh, venue dire or aberrant directory. It says okay. directory. Yeah. Now, Try let me. the link in the chat. I got it here. Um, thank you. Uh, so, okay. I'm a little nervous about doing any extra bells and whistles because I'm pretty sure my intelligence in real life almost matches my intelligence on my character. Um, <laughs> I doubt that, but okay. <laughs> uh, would you allow us to kind of look into this later on if I feel comfortable with my character? Mm -hmm. or? Sure. Okay. Sure. Like I say, that somewhere around session three, four, I'm going to allow for a retool. So if you want to go back and add later, no problem. Because you know, I take, I yeah. take 
too many bells and whistles before and then been like well fuck this shit i don't understand it so okay <laughs> right uh yeah basically um yeah merits are things like danger sense or um or like speed reading things like that and okay. flaws are things like obsession or being a minority or being in debt those kinds of things but yeah that can definitely be a thing that you look through later I will definitely admit I took flaws, Gretchen, uh, and let me get to my sheet with flaws. So merits and flaws only give bonus, they don't give anything else? Uh, they give bonus points, which uh, will then spend, they'll go into your pool of bonus points, which defaults to 15, but can go up to 25 with bonus, with flaw points. Okay. So I took flaw intolerant one and... <laughs> Y'all are going to try not to laugh at this, but uh, <laughs> I actually took flaw intolerant Republican uh, <laughs> because my character was a Marxist researcher. And <laughs> he considered the Republicans the, the corporate stooges who were enthralling Nobas in contracts. Uh, trademark one, which he has to leave something ghost related behind when he finds a target's uh he has uh a few others that right now i'm keeping secret because they tie into the backstory of my character but like uh and he has enemy times four which are for those that uh killed his dad and i went four on that which is kind of one of the higher numbers he really doesn't know who they are you know he's looking at it, this is a shadowy system so you know he doesn't really know who it was that killed his dad oh buddy Some of these flaws are brutal. Yeah, they are. Yeah, I took a pretty, Aren't pretty they awesome. Pretty, I took a pretty brutal flaw that I'm not going to tell anybody about. <laughs> I've got a number of merits and flaws that um I will keep under my hat for the moment. You're not wearing a hat. Well. So you're a metaphorical hat. hat. Where I'm is this you? hat? What are you saying, Rob? So, so Howard's a liar then, mm. trying to tell him that he has a hat. I don't see a hat. There's gaslighting. Of course Howard's the liar. He's the face. <laughs> you don't really think anybody that's the face is telling the truth, do you? <laughs> Not that LaRule would ever lie. Oh, no. She just accepts reality on her own terms. Oh, she's brutally honest. She just doesn't really <laughs> carry your opinion on. <laughs> yeah, some of these flaws are just utterly brutal. Whew, Lord. I thought it, I do think it's interesting that in this one they have enemy, but they don't have hunted. That's a that's a break from their typical. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are, uh, the merits and flaws list in this is comparatively small. Yeah, it's usually it's much game. longer. Yeah. Yeah. I, it's still long enough for me that I'm still moving through it. <laughs> <laughs> I know what used to be my absolute favorite werewolf flaw in World of Darkness was slip was uh slip, slip sideways. <laughs> So much you got a mirror. Whoop. <laughs> like, wait, where am I? That's so silly. That's so silly. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> that one was particularly great, especially for for my Thay urge, which it kind of made sense because he was Lupus. Yep. What's this veil you're talking about? Oh, wait. Yay, Umbra. <laughs> Yay, Umbra. 
me an idea, Amanda, for a one-point flaw that'll fit with what you know. Oh, Lord. Okay, let's look at flaws for the Travis. Because I, 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 I'm going to basically take, take uh, the same amount of merits and the same amount of flaws, so it's going to even out. Makes sense. Well, let's see here. Hmm. Um, you could take a one-point dependence and be a smoker. <laughs> um, hmm. Or possibly a pot user, whatever. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? The pot here? wouldn't work on Nova's, right? That's you're right. For that matter, neither really would cigarettes. I mean, you could still be addicted to them. It just wouldn't give you any real benefit. Um, hmm. Let's see. Uh, By a bad vibe one. Yeah, that could work. Um, There's yeah. something about him. <laughs> I just don't trust him. Yeah. Uh, you could have had a bad patch in your business and be somewhat in debt. Nah. Yeah. I'm going to be playing in a... Uh, um, an illegal Mexican immigrant, would that qualify as minority? Uh, definitely. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. The fun, the fun bullshit from the 1990s White Wolf games. Yeah. I know it's crazy that this is even a thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, White Wolf hadn't quite gotten to peak edge. That, that didn't really happen till Exalted. <laughs> I don't know. Savat's pretty edgy. True, true, but it's not a uh, twelve-year-old being sent to hell to be a demon toy, edgy. That that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Which we are never going to. Use no, we're never going to go any into any more detail than that. I think early Sabat two was a little silly sometimes. It, it was. Early was, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it definitely got darker, but I think initially on it was kind of like we're evil. Yeah, it was very mustache twirl. <laughs> yeah. So I mean. Yeah. Not that there wasn't some real dark stuff. I mean, I think that like the Sabat Maccabians in particular, even early on, really well, yeah. but I think it's, I think there was some of it that was just like, you could be offended by it, but that's if you didn't think it was stupid or silly. Exactly. It's hard to be offended by something so damn dumb. <laughs> Although I liked it. I mean, I thought it was yeah. fun back in those yeah. days. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with being a mustache twirling villain. I still wish you would have allowed me to play my Malkavian concept. <sighs> Which one was that again? You screamed. And I screamed. Oh, God, and yes. I screamed. Did you scream? Cam of Spam would have actually been a really good spot melt. Oh, God. <laughs> it's not games if we're not making Amanda quit. You know what? I like the idea of being a smoker, so we'll do that. Yeah, cool. So he's uh Well, Travis, here's a question for you. So if you were construction, could your character have been accused of poor construction versus, you know, like maybe something was pinned on you for uh, some substandard housing that you had nothing to do with, but you're, you were set up to take the fall for it? What are you thinking? Well, when you're thinking about flaws, um, like, you know, maybe a house caught fire or something and, you know, some folks, you know, that maybe either somebody got injured or something and your company or your name was drugged through the mud for it reputation wise, but it might have been, you know, a subcontractor or somebody like that. Uh, in the pocket, take money and run. Nah, the particular the particulars of this partic of this character are like he was Joe No One. He was ultimately forgettable. He was just a guy on the site. He just happened to be in the right place at the wrong time and took a uh, okay. eye beam to his head. But like it didn't like it, I think it gave a concussion because I only took a I'm only going to take like one dot of mega stamp, but. Uh, <laughs> He definitely shrugged it off when he shouldn't have been able to. Let me ask a question here. I, I'm going to take enemy, and my thought is is that there is a like a politician uh -huh. 
who doesn't who has taken a particular dislike maybe a politician or it could be like even yeah i was thinking a politician maybe who has taken a particular dislike to libertad like where it's maybe gets called out by name for like anti-nova sort of legislation that kind of thing sure and i'm trying to figure out what what point level i should put that at um you're in tennessee i can already see an evangelical claiming that <laughs> that's a pretty high level enemy you're trying to take away from god i mean you can already see in the south that would have been a clarion call for you know who are these novas that think they're yeah and i mean this person might not even be like you know maybe not everybody agrees with them i mean this could be one of those like i'm kind of thinking hey it's funny um you went into the republican thing there uh garrett but i i was sort of thinking i could imagine some sort of like extreme right wing like member of the house of representatives who <laughs> like is accusing the other side of not being tough on crime and and like is also very anti my particular character and uses me as the poster child for you know why no and and maybe not everybody agrees with them or listens to them so i'm not saying like this is somebody who's like a really powerful politician but maybe somebody kind of just a bit more has certain level of passionate followers within a very specific niche group yeah but i like got it a good, you've got a good point i mean how many politicians are it's not that they necessarily believe it but they run on it true and you know, we're kind of taking some of these caricatures and ramping them up because mm -hmm. that's the nature of the game world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think as far as to how many points, it would really depend on how much or how completely they have the power to to really sort of put their money where their mouth is. Like if they can just like for a uh, foment against you from the from the podium or the pulpit or the whatever then that's probably like a a two or a three but if they can actually like pass legislature and and potentially take you into custody that would be much more i was thinking three makes mm -hmm. feels like right to me because i i do <laughs> want this figure to be more powerful than me mm -hmm. because then that sets up also a kind of a fun um like thorn in my side i think you know sure. what i mean makes my life a little yeah. sometimes difficult yeah. like in ways that are beyond my control you know yeah absolutely um, not so much like yeah you like you said like where they're like show, you know, well this is my secret identity and i really have a very good secret identity but mm -hmm. just that idea of like yeah i wouldn't want them you know sending you don't want them to show up with an arrest warrant yeah yeah, yeah. i don't want to go to that level so, <laughs> there yeah, sure. That's that's good. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, is Chattanooga city council type government, Amanda? It is. So, yeah, I mean, it has a mayor, but it also has a strong city council. So, I mean, when, within a city council, they're going to, you know, those council folks are going to carry a lot of power with them. Definitely. I mean, Robin and Gretchen know all about local city council. <laughs> so here, here's a fun thing for you, Rob, if you're if you're going to if you're going to go that route. Uh, it's possible that you're initially uh, force onto this team by that enemy to try to like prove that you can't hack it but you've been doing fine with us it's a possibility that's why you're working on a team that work kind of sort of works for the for the city oh does the team work for the city okay if that's what y'all decide they, yeah i mean i guess we don't have to like i, th I know we're going to mostly be an independent group but like uh it's if since we're operating in chattanooga uh, it's very likely that that the city has given us a bit of uh, permission, if that makes sense, or like mm -hmm. even even like maybe like force some of us to be on it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if y'all are investigating this, there's a very good chance that Chattanooga would at least, at the very least, tacitly approve of your existence yes. as to whether they actually are like financially backing you and hired you. That's entirely up to y'all. Are you thinking on the suicide squad? That's what I was, I, that's sort of, that was sort of my thought that like, 
we came together because we were kind of forced to at some point uh, bef before game start, and it just kind of worked. I know? feel like like a um like almost like a we need the it could be it could be a number of things like maybe we do this or we're going to get or something is going to some lever is going to be pulled against mm -hmm. us or like or maybe there is a public relations issue like that you know um we've been you know maybe there's something we did before and or or something that we're yeah something we did before that maybe the it's teetering on the edge of of whether or not people think we're the good guys or the bad guys or mm -hmm. i mean it could be anything like that i mean it, yeah. I, i'm just or it idea. could be different things for each person yeah, yeah. But, i figured yeah. My, i figured my ally would ask me to be on it, it yeah I, that seems likely yeah so my my thought and you know if if no one likes it that's that's cool we can do something else would would be that uh the city uh has never really had a, a superhero team of its own Mm -hmm. uh and in pops these particular novas that are that are for whatever reason very new very new so they decided to kind of like do an experiment for pr purposes yeah. so we're look at look at our young new heroes even though some of us probably aren't young for yeah, like a short-term contract to see if it works yeah <laughs> um so like all of us get pulled together for whatever reason for instance uh when i my character uh he, by the way his name is eddie uh, when he got pulled into the team, it was because the city uh, told him either go Project Utopia or do this thing. And like one of the major superheroes of the city was like, I think he should go on this team, <laughs> even though Eddie has no idea why the guy said that. Um, or And like for, for Rob's character, maybe like you got caught doing something and they were like, here's your penance or let's put this person on this team because we think it's going to fail because I am the enemy council member, you know. Or, and for like Howard, he gets put on because like he's the li the liaison, but like he's the end up working forever. all right together, you know. And, and like he's he's kind of like a a Clint Colson kind of character where he's just sort of like here to <laughs> he can either be here to manage you guys. They know like anybody who can who can sense Novas knows that he is a Nova. He emits the energy. Howard's and the adult in the room again yeah <laughs> like he emits the energy but he looks so boring i like please, it. Tell, please tell me you you took mega appearance mr nobody i yeah <laughs> i'm you should take you should do that yeah mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a, there's that a is, Mr. Nobody. I did yeah, not you, know that. You were yes. so you were you were your mega appearance is such that you were ultimately able to and supremely it. bland. You were just normal. Face. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Captain Vanilla. Yep. 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 How we do it on merits and flaws, everybody that's not Gretchen. Got mine. I've got mine. I haven't taken any merits. I that's just fine. took the all points for ultimately doing that one. I I I almost never take take merit. I usually take flaws. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My my inner cheese also likes flaws more than merits. Yes. <laughs> I usually want the points to spend. Yeah. I okay. uh, I, right. I equaled them out. Okay. All right. Cool. So we are ready to move on to spending our bonus points. <laughs> Yay! Okay. Cool. Uh, we start out with 15 bonus points plus whatever you earn from flaws that you didn't take up with merits. Cool. So whatever your total is, you're going to have different totals on that more than likely. Um, there's a chart on page 120 that tells you how much things cost with bonus points. Um, at this Name, point, what? Bonus guy. I'm sorry? 120 on main book or? Player's on guide. uh core book we're, we're done with the player's guide okay. yeah yeah we are done with the player's guide unless you want to go back to merits and flaws later um at this point uh everything that you that were topped out at buying only three dots you can now buy up to five with bonus points if you're wanting to do so uh, so that limitation is no longer in effect. Um, though again, nothing can go above five. 
Um, do you want me to read out the chart or do y'all have it in front of you and don't need that? Good. What was that, Gretchen? I see it. Okay, cool. Yeah, bonus points go quickly. So, <laughs> yeah, 15 is not a lot. So, tell me about willpower specifically for this game. Okay. Um, willpower is, uh, it's on a one to 10 scale because willpower. Um, you can use it for a bunch of different things. Uh, let's see here, switching over to it. Um, let's see. Okay, cool. Uh, yes. Um, you can spend a point of willpower to get a free success on a roll. Pretty much any roll. When you say um, spend a point of willpower, it permanently takes it away? Or no, just it, uh, it comes back slowly over time. Uh, okay. It comes back by exercising your nature, or uh, it comes back at the end of a story arc, that sort of thing. Okay. Um, so it it comes back slowly, though. It's not like a, you get it back automatically overnight. Okay. Mm -hmm. When you say slowly. Um, Once a week, one a week. Uh, okay. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Uh, when you get a chance to rest and restore, restore self-confidence. Let's see. Um, Oh, my bad. You do, in fact, get one point back every night. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's good. Yeah. Um, if you perform actions that affirm your nature, we never did nature. My bad. We should do nature real quick. Yes, nature is important. Because uh, uh, nature starts on page 127 of the core book. And it's basically a word, just a word that describes your inner personality. Uh, most White Wolf games have both nature and demeanor, but Aberrant only has nature. Uh, those are things like Analyst, Architect, Bravo, things of that nature. They go from page 127 to 129. And uh, there's a sentence at the bottom of each entry that tells you another way of getting back willpower. Yay, getting back willpower. I should actually look at nature stuff because I yeah, don't you know do which that. one I should pick. Okay. Um, but yeah, you can spend willpower to get automatic successes on roles. Uh, some powers require that you spend willpower to use parts of them. Um, let's see here. Um, uh, if powers are used on you, you can spend willpower to uh, try to resist them. Uh, if your taint gets to be too much of a problem, then uh, you can spend willpower to resist that. <laughs> and my taint is something fierce. <laughs> Garrett, I have no doubt that you have the fiercest taint in the room. <laughs> my, taint, my, my taint always wins the game, Amanda. <laughs> Also, if you go to max out your powers, which gives you extra to extra cookies, as it were, uh, that also takes willpower to do. Okay. So willpower is important as to how important you decide that it is, that's up to you. Most of Why Wolf Games, willpower doesn't seem to be that important, but I take it as a little bit more in, in this one. Correct. Yes. That's because every time you do something heroic, there's a little bit of a sacrifice. Yep. And so the bonus point spending on willpower is for your max willpower. Correct. And does our max willpower is starts at three? Uh, no, your current, well, yes, your max willpower starts at three, yes. Okay. Uh, you, yes, you can raise it up to 10. Gotcha. Almost all of my points have gone into uh, backgrounds <laughs> and upping a couple of things, and that's it. Nice. <laughs> yeah, most of mine went back into background. Nice. Cool. Has everybody selected a nature, or do we need to stick with that for a bit longer? 
have been even looked at nature actually. You said take architect. Um, starts on page one twenty seven in the core book. Rob, <laughs> did you hear me? You took architect. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. A message on Facebook. You want to hear something while people are thinking? You want to hear something real funny? What you got? I have to work tonight. Oh, Lord, dude. <laughs> are you going to be okay? Are, are I, you... I, I went to bed at nine and got up at 145 for this. So we're good. Oh. Like I'll, I'll take a couple hours nap after we're done and then I'll be fine. Cause I got about five hours of sleep already. Poor you. Oh, funny. Like how is this funny? <laughs> I know it's ironic funny, but like, damn dude. Well, if it, if it makes you feel better, like I finally got a CPAP. So like yeah, I'm actually sleeping now. That's good. Yeah, no. Awesome. Molly says that when I uh, when I sleep, it doesn't sound like I'm choking on my tongue anymore. Good. That, yeah, I mean I've just an important twitch. one. Yeah. yeah, I don't I don't twitch or nothing. I'm just sleeping all silent and shit. Like I'm not even wow. snoring. Wow. I mean, all yeah. these years, I just assumed that your balls dropped over your asshole and you vapor locked. I, I mean that is absolutely the truth. Unfortunately, I also fart real well, so it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody watching this stream at any point, you're welcome. <laughs> oh, Lord. We're, we're not a good example. <laughs> we're a great example. Hey, you can either be a great example or a perfect object lesson. It's Point. up to the audience to determine which one we are. <laughs> yes. Uh, if you have your nature already, by all means, go back to, to bonus points and spin them accordingly. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, I figured you would because you're you. Yeah, <laughs> I threw most of my bonus points back into backgrounds as well. Nice. I actually changed one of my backgrounds. I, I Instead of taking a dot in contacts, I took a dot in attunement because I'm going to need it. Cool. Cool. I'm not sure if Rob has a frowny face or a reading face. No, a reading face. I, I'm okay. going to go with I think for my background, I mean for my uh, nature. What was that? Rebel. Rebel. Nice. Word. Yeah. Uh, we're the bad kids. <laughs> I actually considered Martyr or Paragon, to be honest with you, but I, I, Martyr seemed just too cheesy and Paragon seemed too elevated. So I'm going to go with Rebel. I went with vision, visionary because sometimes you have to burn down what's here to where you can actually grow something new. Nice. Yeah, I, that's kind of what I was almost thinking of too, but I don't think I'm as big picture as that either. You know, gotcha. I think follow, follow orders in a way. Yeah. So. Cool. My character was raised by a Marxist academic. Yeah, <laughs> he's like burn it all down. <laughs> yeah, how about Gretchen and the hamster? Bravo, bravo, nice. Hell yeah, yeah, that's a straight up beater. That's good time. Yeah, <laughs> I was thinking of bureaucrat. Okay, <laughs> that'd be fine. You get to yeah. deal with the red tape. Yeah, you get to mm -hmm. fix the, the screw ups of the rest of these yahoos. <laughs> awesome. Uh, hey, that'll be good exactly. for gaining willpower. Actually, Amanda, I think Howard, <laughs> do you want to do you want to be my 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 major contact for like uh, getting into this group? Because I, had, if so, sure. uh, after this game, we'll talk about my mm -hmm. my background so you understand why it's going to be fun times. <laughs> gotcha. Actually be, yeah. Actually, be, be, so be, do you, Amanda, does that does that work for you? Yeah, fine by me. Word. Yeah. Okay, so for everyone who's played this game before, what is your willpower at? Six. I I currently have it at five or no at four. Sorry, because um some I ended up taking a merit called natural leader, just so that I can Captain America the news and stuff. So nice. no, I am a natural leader. <laughs> I do I do not pretend that I am going to be the leader of this group. But if nothing else, the news will see me as look. I'm dependable. <laughs> Uh, nice. I use I usually oh, no. for White Wolf games like this. I usually start around five or six, and then maybe buy them up later over time in game. Okay. And what is everyone's initiative about? 
Mine is currently at seven. My initiative is at six. Um, I'll admit, you know, I spent points and my willpower is at eight. Oh, wait. Initiative is dex plus dex wits, plus right? Wits. Mm -hmm. dex, dex Sorry, plus minus wits. eight. Minus eight. Cool. Minus five. Um, I'm not a... I'm not a physical character, so it's my wits that's that's bringing it up. Um. All right. Well, mine is really terrible, so I guess I'll dump some points into there so I can smashy smash. I kind of figured that because of my character's backstory with everything, he needed a high willpower. Mm hmm yeah, the uh, it's cute. The descriptions of the willpower levels um, are on page 144, and it's just kind of adorable. Willpower one is weak, two is timid, three is hesitant, four is diffident, five certain, six confident, seven determined, eight secure, nine iron willed, and ten unshakable. <laughs> Alrighty then. Yeah. Cool. How we doing on bonus points, folks? Pretty close. Pretty cool. close. Cool. All right. I'm, yeah, I'm not I'm, rushing, y'all. I just didn't want to be hanging out with dead air without a need to. Yeah. What was that, Gretchen? I'm sorry. I I, I did it. Yay! Right. <laughs> Get ready to spend more points. <laughs> <laughs> but now this is the fun part of points. It's true. <laughs> Nova points. Yes. I'm good. You're good. All right. Let me finish answering the hamster. Uh, I love character creation in games for the most part. I always think it's like, you know, it's it's just, and we're all here together. It's just fun to like figure it out, especially when a game I've never played it before. Awesome. Cool. Okay. Now we get to the fun part. <laughs> Hours. Wait. Um. No, go. Go. Okay. I just yelled powers. That's yes, all. you did. All right. Okay. You get, now you've made your human. Hey, look, congratulations, you have a human. Now we get to erupt it and make it into a superhuman. <laughs> All right, you're going to have 30 Nova points to spend. 3-0. Oh, we lost Gretchen. No, she's here. Oh, she okay. Okay, it's good. As long as she's... No, it's cool. It's fine. We've got 30 Nova points to spend. Okay. And... Not only can you spend Nova points to buy up more of anything that you've already been putting points into, up to a total of five, uh, and do so remarkably cheaply, but you can also spend Nova points to buy powers and mega attributes, and those are the things that really make you a superhero. Now, there's a mega attribute for each of the standard attributes. So strength, stamina, intelligence, appearance, those six or those nine. Um, and the descriptions of those start on page 156 of the core book. Would you and also have a spreadsheet? What? Yes, I also have on the spreadsheet. Um, each of the mega attributes has its own tab near the end of the spreadsheet. All right, now, how much more difficulty does selecting these add to playing your character? Uh, define difficulty in this context, please. Compared to Ravenloft and Feats, saying that's a 10 on my scale of what the fuckery. Oh, and no. <laughs> it's, not near, it's not near that bad. So, okay. so basically what you're doing now is you're, you're choosing your superhero stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So you get mega stuff, which just adds dots to your, to, to your, to your roles. Uh, but they also have extra things that you can do that are really easy to explain. And there's, there's a place on your sheet. For mm -hmm. instance, one of the things I took was mega dexterity one. Uh, I took the enhancement accuracy, which just basically gives me a plus three dice to, uh, to, to hit. 
Okay. For range stuff. It's it's stuff like that. It's really simple. <laughs> right. Basically, as far as mega attributes go, unless there's something that you really want for your concept, even at fairly low levels, I would look at the stuff that you have high baseline attributes in. Like I know that you've got a lot of strength, so you would probably want to look at mega strength. I, I somehow doubt that you have uh, much in the way of, say, uh, intelligence, so you probably wouldn't necessarily bother with mega intelligence. Okay. I love you, Gretchen, but it sounds like you're building a beat stick. <laughs> um, so a lot of the things that if if the base stat wasn't especially important to you, you can probably ignore the mega version of it. Uh, and then as far as the quantum powers go, probably the best thing that I can suggest that you do is flip over to the Q powers tab at the front of the spreadsheet and Does something uh, look good. Yeah, just it, yeah, uh, the, there's like a one line. Uh, actually, actually, I, I do um, have a I have a I have a suggestion. Let me see if I can find it real quick. By all means, uh, suggest. If, you, if you want to be a cool beach stick. Uh, I actually played a beach stick in Aberrant called Tank. He was he was nothing but mega attributes and one or two powers. And one of the powers that he had uh, was effectively he had the ability to uh, to turn his turn his skin into armor. Yeah, the armor power. It's on core book page one eighty two, um, and it literally just turns your skin into armor. Yeah, and you can yeah. take it. You can take it. Uh, you can add an extra where you can turn it on and off. Um, uh, I believe. Oh, uh, there's an extra that makes it super heavy. That makes it super right, right, extra right, amazing right. effective. Yeah. So, so basically, what what it does is it's a it's a permanent attribute, but it basically for every, I think it's for every dot you get plus three just to your soak. So, like when somebody hurts you, you're just like fuck you, mm -hmm. uh, and that's added on top of any mega stamina you you take, which also does that. Mm -hmm. So, really, everything you take just adds to your dots. Okay. Yeah. Unless you go crazy, like certain quantum bolts and things like that, but those are basically attack, like it's firearms attacks. So. Mm -hmm. Or you roll roll like a, an attribute plus the power level to do yeah. stuff. I mean, most of the powers, the names are really self-explanatory, like yeah. uh, armor or Bio animal slash plant mastery. <laughs> Bioluminescence. I can glow. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, I mean, if the name doesn't sound like something you care about, skip it. Who cares? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And okay. apart from if a power gets used on you, in which case I'll tell you what to roll. To resist it or what have you if you don't have a power you never need to know anything about those powers yep and yeah. how many level points do we start with 30. 30. so let me three attribute dots uh -huh. is one nova point correct correct i my recommendation when spending nova points is do your mega ads and your powers first and then put things in your <laughs> your attributes and, and skills because uh your powers or you know quantum, but usually I say use bonus points for that or <laughs> bonus points for that. But uh, uh, your powers and your mega ads are going to cost a little bit more. Do mm -hmm. those first to the level you want, and then add right. things on top of it. And but if you want to just be a mega at a uh, mega mega normal, which is basically a superhero with nothing but megas, uh, mega attributes are a lot cheaper than power powers. So mm -hmm. you're going to end up having a shit ton of extra stuff. Right. This is also the time to talk more about taint. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. I'm taking taint. You are. I'm starting with taint right. three. Nice. Okay. Taint runs on a scale of one to 10. It comes in temporary and permanent. When you rack up 10 temporary taint, you exchange it for one permanent taint. Okay. Taint is a bad thing, but it's also a really cool thing. Um, once you get up to your fourth dot of permanent taint, you start developing changes called aberrations. Uh, that could be like having weird eyes or a strange skin color, or it could be that you develop vestigial limbs, or maybe one of your powers is always on and can't be turned off, even if you want it to be, any number of things like that. But the good thing about buying about Taint is that you can buy Nova powers and mega attributes and quantum tainted for half price. Every job every you do that, though, you get a permanent tank. Correct. So, for example, if you wanted to buy 
uh, one dot of flight. Uh, and flight is a level two power, so it would cost you three Nova points to buy flight one. You could buy it tainted, and it would then only cost you two points, but give you one point of permanent taint. Does that make sense? It's half rounded up. Yes. You don't have to do it. No, not at all. It's just Actually, a way to get more powers for your money or for your points. I took taint four deliberately. So that's um, why your skin's white, like pale, pale? No, I actually, Amanda and I still have to figure out what the aberration is going to be. Mm -hmm. uh, I just, because of my character's backstory, he actually readily admitted that to build the world he wants to see, he's going to have to get his hands dirty. That he's willingly sacrificing parts of his humanity because he thinks that's necessary for the greater good. Cool. Uh, you know, he does the things that he hopes nobody else will have to. So uh, before before you have to take an aberration, you you get aberration. Uh, Rob asked a question. It's four. Yeah, so once you get to your four. fourth permanent dot, you start manifesting things. Correct. Now I I almost thought about you know. I thought about, I'm torn because part of me, you know, it's like making albino, that would be almost too easy. Mm -hmm. uh, which I don't, I said that whole too easy part. <laughs> uh, Make them like, like the character powder or yeah. like actual white. You know what I mean? Like, like powder mm -hmm. or like death from uh, Bill and Ted's bogus journey. I thought about, I thought about that, but I've used that on multiple characters in the past. That's why I'm kind of thinking of something different. Where, uh, where do you see impact? Uh, it's in the new flesh book. Uh, it's not what I'm terribly familiar with, so I'm looking it up. I'm almost thinking one of uh, one of his powers always active. Which book? New flesh. Which one is that? Uh, it's the book that's based on the mega physicals. Impact. Am I not? Two I'm thirty. Ah. Two thirty. Two thirty. Impact. Here we go. Okay. Um, yes. Reading aloud. Cool. This power enhances the kinetic force of the Nova's kicks and punches. Each oh. level of impact adds two dice of bashing damage to the hand a hand a hand to hand attacks. Can't be used with powers, enhancements, extras, weapons, or other effects that convert bashing to lethal or ag, or that cause lethal or ag. Okay, basically that means that for every dot of that power that you take, uh, your punches and kicks will do an additional two dice worth of damage, Gretchen. Okay. Yeah. Um. Also, folks, uh, if, you'll, yeah, if you notice that the quantum powers, they have a minimum quantum requirement. Uh, impact has a minimum quantum requirement of one, which is cool. Uh, but a lot of the powers do have minimum quantum requirements that are higher than one. So if you take those powers, you'll need to buy up your quantum. FYI. Also, <laughs> buying up your quantum gives you more power points to spend when it comes down to actually using your powers. Okay, so if I have a plus one in impact, it would be one quantum point to use that? Correct, yes. Uh, because okay. it's a level one power, um, you'll, okay, quantum is your power stat, but you'll also have a quantum pool, which is your, basically your magic points. Okay. I mean, it's not magic, but it functions like magic points. Yeah. So then if I wanted to do an impact of three, I would need to use three quantum points to enact that? Um, no, you would still, if you bought three, uh, if you bought impact three, then um, it would cost you, yeah, it would cost you three Nova points to buy it, yes, but when you came time to actually use it in combat, you would only it's pay a, one quantum point to turn it on. Okay. It's yes. not an always on power? Um, I didn't no. read it, so, okay. No, cool. that's, um, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, you turn it on with one, uh, spending one quantum point. Yeah, so you don't need to raise your quantum above one uh, unless you pick powers that require it. Correct. 
Okay. Thank okay. you. No worries. Or unless you just want a, a larger power pool. Yeah. Yeah. For instance, I actually bumped my quantum to Fox because of some of the stuff I want. But I also mean I don't have shit when it comes to like skills. Mm -hmm. I have my starting skills and that's it. Right. Uh, okay. What happens when you deplete your quantum to, uh, okay. As you spend quantum, it's kind of like hit points in D and D that they come back naturally over time. Uh, there are ways that you can, there are things you can do to make them come back faster, but it's mostly that you get them back by resting or sleeping. Okay. And uh, if you, manage to run completely out of them then you're depleted and can't i mean you're still a superhero but you can't do the yeah. extra super things yeah yeah all right now in your spreadsheet when yeah. i'm looking at mega or aberrant mm -hmm. mechanics uh mega strength uh-huh flush you have a box in red below that are these like uh they got errata in another book and the red text is the errata okay yeah them's the new rules <laughs> yeah <laughs> i included the original because it had the fluff text but and for completion but um okay. use the red text if there's red text sorry just to double check taking a level three quantum power it uh -huh. says that it would cost five Five Nova uh, points, yes. Five Nova points. But if I take it tainted, then mm -hmm. it would be three because it's right. half rounded up. Correct. Got it. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Also, make sure to look at the level threes tend to have a minimum quantum that's a little bit higher than normal. So Correct. definitely look at that as well. Yes. Most yeah, level threes already... have a minimum of four or five. Yeah. Yep. So I, I definitely had to add. I used some of my Nova points to get my quantum up to four. Cool. So, awesome. Yep. I'm taking shape shift. Nice. Hell yeah. It's that's got to that's gotta be awesome. It's it's to explain how he survived his eruption. Nice. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Hey, Howard, I sent you a Facebook message. Yeah. Also, uh, if you notice, some of the quantum powers have techniques underneath them. Uh, for every dot of the power that you choose to buy, you get one of those techniques for free. You can use any of those techniques, whether you have them or not. But if you use ones that you haven't selected with the dots, then it's a little harder to activate them and a little bit more expensive. Just FYI. I think the first thing I'm going to actually buy with XP is going to be flight because he needs it. But it's nice. actually it's actually core to his build, but it didn't have the points for it. Uh oh. <laughs> Believe um, it or not, I think I have every power that was core to my character build. Mm -hmm. I've been able to get it. Cool. Um, now a lot of my abilities and all that stuff is really weak mm -hmm. so but i needed the powers yeah makes sense um another thing too with mega attributes uh for each mega attribute that you take not for each dot but for each mega attribute you get one free enhancement that you pick from the list on the tab uh, you can buy additional enhancements if you want them but you get one free one for each one. Where is the enhancements? Um, you were uh, the thing that you were just looking at with Crush. Those are enhancements. Okay. So yeah. wait, what gives me a free enhancement again? Every, um, every dot you take in a mega attribute gives you one free enhancement for that mega attribute. No, just the first dot. Oh, okay. sorry. Sorry, yeah. the first dot gives you a right. one free. Sorry. Right. So that was I a house to... roll from way back in the day. Sorry. Yeah. If I were to buy Crush, I would get one point there, and then I would automatically get a secondary point. You no. would get Crush for free, and then you have to buy the others. If you if you buy Mega Strength of any level, you can get Crush for free, and then if you want anything else on the list, you have to pay for it. 
Okay, so then what is the cost of getting a mega strength? Um, mega attributes are three Nova points per dot. Okay, so I and you can get up to five. Just flat, three, three per dot. It's just done. So if you want like mega strength five, that'd be 15 oh, Nova points. So what what's the freebie there though? You the so every single mega attribute has uh, an quote an extra. So it's basically a technique that lets you do something um, special. Uh, so like for mega 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 strength, you've got uh, lifter, you've got crush, you've got things like that. All those little mm -hmm. things underneath mega attributes. Those are those are those are techniques. You get right. one of those for free, just Correct. straight up. And you can buy others if you want them. Okay. So like, okay, like for example, with with mega strength, the advantage of having more mega strength, is that what you were asking? Well, so like I want to get crush. Um, right. But you're saying that is free if I do buy something first. So my assumption was I would buy crush for three. No. No. You buy, you buy mega strength for three for three and crush comes with it. Correct. Oh, if you yeah. Want, if you want that one, yeah. Yeah. Basically, you're saying that you want okay. what was that? Basically, you're saying so, you want windshield wipers. You get those for free when you buy the car. Okay, so crush would go underneath mega strength. Correct. Right. Yes. Okay. I made the same. I didn't realize it either because I I wanted health manipulation, but mm -hmm. I realize now I take body manipulation, mm. and then health manipulation is what comes with it. Right. Right. Exactly. Yes. So enhancement is the subcategories under your mega attribute. Right. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. That's a better way of putting it. Yes, that's a much better way. <laughs> Gretchen knows all the words. <laughs> so I've got a question. I've been looking at specific like mega appearance, mega mm -hmm. manipulation, mega charisma, uh -huh. and those those do not count three each. Or no, those are every dot for a mega uh, attribute period is three. Okay, Correct. so if I took a uh, copycat. Mr. Nobody, that would be two dots in mega appearance. No. And I would be paying six. No. So basically buy your dots in your mega attribute first. So you you if you want multiple oh. mul multiple dots of mega appearance, buy mega appearance one, two, or three. You get one of those Got enhancements it. for free. So you can take Mr. Nobody for free. Oh. And then if you look at the chart, the enhancements cost a little bit extra. Correct. Enhancements oh. are three Nova points. So, so then you can spend another three and get the other uh, enhancement right. you want. Mm -hmm. Now, okay. you can Got have it. multiple enhancements without having multiple dots of the mega attribute. Mm -hmm. So if you only want one dot of mega appearance, you can right. still, you would get Mr. Nobody for free, and you could still buy other enhancements, even though you only have the one dot in it. Got it. Okay, yes. that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And then, um, okay, so now with mega attributes, uh -huh. I mean... The normal Actually, some attribute. Of the, some of the mega, mega physicals don't go that way, if I remember right, but we'll look at that later. What so, anyway. Well, we'll talk about it later. Okay. I could be wrong. Oh. Okay. okay. What was that, Howard? So, yeah. I've got an appearance of two normally. Okay. So, I mean, a mega appearance, I mean, I've got an appearance of two, but mega appearance would give me like extra dots. That's Correct. what I. Okay. Well, that's what I meant. You can't take your megas above ah, the dots yes. you have in the normal. So Correct. if you have like strength three, oh. you can't go mega strength four. That's right. what I'm. Thank you for saying that. that okay. That's what I was. <laughs> got thinking. it. Okay. Yes. That's what. Okay. Yes. So, so if you've got if, appearance two, you can have mega appearance one appearance or mega two. appearance two, but appearance not two, mega three. But not. Right. right. Got it. And if you want okay. mega three, you've got to buy appearance three. <laughs> got it. Okay. Gretchen's laughing at us. So, what's Gretchen, what's Gretchen? Yeah, well, yeah, a comment Rob made. Ah. <laughs> so, but I can just buy, I can still have like mega appearance one, but I can yes. just buy enhancements Correct. in order to. Okay. Correct. So, yes. you could buy gotcha. all the enhancements for the thing and only have mega one if that made you happy. Yes. Got it. Mm -hmm. it it's kind of weird because like the character doesn't look they're not a rock star they're not mm -hmm. hot or anything like that but at the same time mega appearance is like 
hello or something so and and all of the ones that i'm looking at are like there's a bunch of mega appearance manipulation charisma mm -hmm. because phase character yeah and it was just kind of trying to figure out like how much I should buy of the stat versus the enhancements. So. Right. Basically, if you're only wanting to just unlock the enhancement, if you're more interested in the enhancements than the stats, then buy, buy not, one dot of the stat and then focus on enhancements. Yeah. If you're got it. And it's the same use... cost. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> but if I'm wanting to if I'm wanting to use the full stat of I've got a charisma of four, and if I get mega charisma of four, that's eight plus whatever I want to drop right. on mm -hmm. some unsuspecting NPC. Right. So, mm -hmm. yes. Got it. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So that makes it much, much, much easier to understand. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> and now I got to pick all these different enhancements. Yeah. The enhancements are fun. <laughs> Yeah. They're so fun. Yeah. I, I took one enhancement only because uh you know, I took the mega body because if I'm gonna do, you know, density control, I took the one where I don't have to breathe. You took oh, yeah. adaptability? Yeah. Yeah. That's a good I one. didn't want I didn't want to suffocate underground while yeah. I'm phasing. Yeah. You know. Which also incidentally means that you don't have to eat or sleep and you can survive space without a spacesuit. It oh, also, I it also I realize that you yep. also might be immortal. We don't know yet. You can be killed, <laughs> but you're not. You're at the you don't age. You age slowly. Yeah. yeah, you very age slowly. Mm -hmm. It just it it seemed like that. Uh, you know, kind of like right. Mario from uh, My Hero Academia, where he has to hold his breath before he goes. He mm -hmm. Or for that matter, mm -hmm. I think Kitty Pride has the same problem. So mm -hmm. I wanted to not run into that. Right. Oh, hey, you're trying to like. Speak up on somebody and you suffocate. <laughs> yeah. I'm the juggernaut. <laughs> so I'm so sorry. I'm this was probably answered already. Okay. So if I were to buy dots in the stat, okay. Mm -hmm. Do I get one free enhancement with each dot? No. Just or yeah. is it just, just one one, one free enhancement? You get one it. free enhancement. Okay. For the yes. first dot of mega that you that you that you unlock. Correct. Gotcha. And so there's no if you buy though if you buy multiple mega attributes, you get one free enhancement for the first dot of each of those mega attributes. Right. 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 Yeah. Okay. And there's no such thing as tainted meg mega attributes. Yes, yep. there are. You can buy them tainted. Oh shit. You can buy enhancement okay. tainted. Yes. You can buy oh, any superpower thing to tainted. Yep. Wow. If you, if you buy, oh it, it, shit! Yeah. Oh, Gretchen's got a hand raised. What's a hand raised? Uh, so question. Okay, yeah. um, it says here that I can buy mm -hmm. three attribute dots for one Nova point. So Correct. that means um, three extra points into wits to increase my initiative. Sure can. Uh, up to a total of five. Yeah, the, they still max out at five. Okay. Yes. But they don't all have to go into wits if you don't want them to. Yeah, so you could put you could put like if you say have wits of three, you could put two into wits and then the rest into decks, which will also up your hand. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just three dots to go anywhere in your attributes at all. Correct, but they do all still top out at five. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are ways of getting things above five, but that's high level play, and we're not there yet. <laughs> also high quantum. Yeah. Remind me, I haven't, it, I didn't see the rule, uh, and it's been a while since I've read it, because uh, oh. I was mostly looking at character creation. <laughs> uh, we're capped at five because right now our quantum's capped at five, right? Because you, you, you can't go above five until your quantum goes to six. <laughs> Correct. Okay. Yes. Let me just, let me just, I think I'm, I'm understanding this, but just let me ask. Sure. Uh -huh. I have cyberkinesis at three painted. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So, it would cost me three Nova points. Um, Cyberkinesis is a level three power, right? Yeah, I believe it is. So yes, it'll cost you three points per dot. So three, six, nine, nine total Nova for three dots. And it'll leave you with three or give you three points of taint.
Wait. The part that I struggled with. Hang on a second. Uh, Rob's talking. I'm like, please? sorry. He's asking questions. Say yeah. again. I didn't hear you. Uh, uh, so I'm 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 confused. So wait a second. Mm -hmm. On the Nova Points chart. Yes. Right. Power level one, one point. Quantum power level two, three points. Uh -huh. power two, okay. Five. I, I know what's confusing you. So every power has a level of strength. So there are one, there are level one, level three, and level five power. So basically one, two, and three. Um if you look at your at your at your particular power, so say go to uh, this one has three power. Right. So if it says like quantum uh let me pull one up real quick yeah cyberkinesis uh, is a level three power which basically those are the more it's more expensive because it's a bigger mm -hmm. power than a level one so right. every dot of that would be five would be five nova points or a bunch of xp if well, you're I buying the same two. question i did yeah, yeah so so uh for instance i took a i took a, a level three power as well called elemental mastery i got it at two i also took it tainted uh, I had so instead of sp for that I had to spend uh, six Nova points to get it because every dot is five Nova points because it's a level three power. So there's power levels in 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 your superpowers that are just basic, intermediate, and super strong. I see. I don't yeah. actually have to take a three in cyberkinesis. It's only telling to be able to use the powers. It's only saying that that power is a level three power. Correct. Right. So I don't have three dots in cyberkinesis. To no. Me. No. You could just no. have one dot, uh, and that's where I was confused. I, I and know. that one dot would be, if you take a taint, it would be three three noble points, and then you take a point of permanent taint, just one. Correct. You um, would also you would choose one of the italicized things techniques underneath uh cyberkinesis uh the ones that aren't highlighted blue because those are high quantum um that you can use that technique because you've learned that technique uh but if you you have access to all of the the other ones other than the blue ones but because you're not as familiar with them it costs a little bit more to to make them go Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay. okay, it all comes together now. Cool. Yay. Thank you. I, Yay. I, I had the exact same question, Rob. I was like, so it's cost me this? And <laughs> it was, no, it's, this is the experience for the level of power. This is the, for the dots. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good way to put it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So every, every power is a certain level of power. And then the dots are how many dots you have in that power. Yeah. Like flight to level one. And so like, that would cost you like just what three noble points to get a dot or two uh, if you taint it. Yeah, yeah, flight's a level two and it's a two or three. Yeah. Also, the cool thing about tainting your power is you can technically flavor it to make the power look weird. Mm -hmm. Oh, if you want to, yeah. Yeah. So, like, you can flavor your powers to look however you want. Mm -hmm. uh, and tainting gives them like a, a weird thing. Like, if you have tainted flight, then it looks like you have boosters coming out of your feet. You know stuff like that or a trace or a trail mm -hmm. stuff like that you can make your own kim trails pretty much <laughs> so okay but that's so just flavor. that has nothing to do with yeah, creation that's pure flavor i've got i've got the shapeshift power Good it said you. that it was a level three power correct right. so, so i have to buy it at level three no 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 okay so it's a so it, so <laughs> So it's basically level three power means, uh, uh, and the in the range of power skills, mm -hmm. uh, it's an intermediate. It's an intermediate strength. It's an advanced right. strength. Yeah, it's level sorry. Three. Yeah. yeah. So it's so it's a so it's a bigger power. So you have a a, a very certain amount of of noble points you have to spend per dot. Right. Basically, which is cooler, being able to glow in the dark or being able to turn into a bear? Right. So you only right. need to buy one dot. You have it. It just costs. <laughs> And it'll cost what five Nova points? Uh, yes. Um, but you okay, can buy so it that's at level just... one and only spend five points on it. Okay, because it was talking about minimum quantum. Correct. That is how and... much quantum you need. Power okay. stat. Okay. Yeah, that's your right. I, I have I have that power stat. Okay. Cool. And then the and then the power itself. So so think of it this way: the level on the power just correlates to how much mm -hmm. XP it costs to buy it. 
Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, so, so level one powers are cheaper. Level three powers are more expensive because they're cooler powers. Okay. So in terms of buying it for with the Nova points, uh -huh. it's a level, would it count as a level three power it or is a level, is a level one? It is a level okay. three power. So it's so you would right. spend five and or then. taint it and spend three. Correct. Got it. Okay. And that's, that's per fine. dot. Yes. And it's just, yeah, I'm just taking one dot. Okay. Yeah. In the shape shift. Cool. I just need that much. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, because right. apparently I'm going a lot of mega attributes with <laughs> attributes are cool. Mega ads yeah. are great. Like when oh, I yeah. played tank, I, I didn't have much of the way actual quantum powers. I had nothing but uh mega ads and I was a beefy yeah. beat stick. I think you were basically just flying brick, weren't you? You had a little bit of flight, I thought. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I ended up getting a little bit of flight in in game, ah, and when I did gotcha. the 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 uh, the mega strength leap thing, I just didn't land, and it freaked ah. him out. So he was like swimming through the air all <laughs> crazy. But then he ended up grabbing a, a fighter jet out of the air and baseballing it into an enemy and and misting him. So because mega strength strength five is insane. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> Eight times three is twenty four, which means. 30 minus 20. <laughs> oh. Six. Okay. It can be, it can so. get expensive. Yeah. 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 But, it's a lot of points, um, but they go fast. Ooh, oh, yeah. Mm. 30. Yeah. Because 30 minus 13, because I have to have the space, the shape shift in order to survive the eruption. Cool. All right. I have completed my sheet and I've sent it to you, Amanda. Yay. I'm not taking any healing Six. because it's too expensive. Six okay. quantum requirement is just too outrageous. Like, so you can buy it with XP later. True. If you want it. It, it, it will be kind of expensive because it's a great power, but like it, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. And you can also buy powers tainted with XP too. Oh, wait. Hang on. Yeah. I can't wait till you get into the, uh, get into the back, background of the city. Awesome. I remember you telling me some of the NPCs that are mm -hmm. prominent from, from Chattanooga and it's some fun shit. Yeah. I will go ahead and throw that into the chat because why not? Six. I mean, if people are okay with it, you could probably oh. go ahead and launch into that a little bit so uh, people know the city they're in while they're Maybe. finishing up because I think most of us are getting close to done, right? I think we are pretty close. Oh, that's yes. right. Because I screwed that up. All of these go up by one. Yay. Oh, dear. Okay. Um, all right. There is. Cool. Um, Chattanooga in the real world is known for two and a half basic things. Well, two things, really. Got to get you choo <laughs> Okay, two and a half things. Um, all kinds of natural scenic beauty. Cool. Surprisingly industrial. Uh, RC Cola started in Chattanooga and there was uh, that it was a transportation train hub for quite some time. And really weird weather. Based in the, the center of several of a couple of mountains, it's like they get the best and worst of everything. They never get tornadoes they rarely get snow but anything that does stay lingers it's just weird in aberrant chattanooga is known for one additional thing for whatever reason chattanooga though it's a moderately sized southern town has had an unusually large number of people erupt as novas in it now, they don't always necessarily stay, and certainly people that didn't erupt in Chattanooga come and go, but it's a town, Chattanooga's about the size of Savannah, maybe a little bit bigger, but there are maybe 6,000 Novas on the entire planet, and eight of them are known to have erupted in Chattanooga. That's a, significant. Yeah, that's significant. To the point that Chattanooga has attracted Nova wannabes in the same way that Nashville attracts country music wannabes and Hollywood attracts actor wannabes. People show up because they hope they'll erupt. Exactly. And I just uh, dropped a uh, 
a PDF in the Facebook chat uh, with a list of known novas who have erupted in Chattanooga. Um, if any of y'all, I, I obviously, those of y'all who are local are not on that list, but, um, and y'all, it's entirely up to y'all whether you're local to Chattanooga, whether you've moved to Chattanooga later, or whether you were just here for the duration of the assignment. That's entirely up to y'all. Um, yeah, Travis froze. Yes. Am I froze? I can hear you. Oh, no, there was a, you, uh, that was earlier. Never mind. <clears throat> that yeah. was a while ago. Yeah, it was. And I just didn't see it. Right, right. cool. Um, right. So, um, of course, since Novas are ultimately still human with all of their faults and foibles and whatever else, not all of the Novas that have been associated with Chattanooga have been the, the kind and gentle and fluffy sort. <laughs> um, so yeah, y'all can look over uh, that list at y'all's leisure. Um, <laughs> Yes, yes, indeed. Yes. Uh, there was something else I was going to say, but I think I've forgotten it. How are we doing, folks? Pretty close. Pretty good. I Oops. will say, I think the odds of me emigrating from somewhere else to Chattanooga based on my backstory is mm -hmm. probably a very uh, high, high likelihood. Cool. I'm a local. Uh, cool. But the question, Amanda, what do you think is a, a reasonable metropolitan area? Because, I mean, his dad was an academic. Which, mm -hmm. You know, he's probably pulled here because he's researching a lead. Mm -hmm. um, Chattanooga has UTC, which is a, a fairly significant college, if that makes a difference. And so having that, you know, would definitely explain where he would have allies there mm -hmm. from their connection with his dad. Um, and since he's also kind of paranoid about being hunted, mm -hmm. uh, that would seem to be a good, you know, I need to figure out a distance from where he, I may actually just go ahead and pull him from, say that he was from Columbia, South Carolina. Because sure. that would explain the uh, the university side of things, the mm -hmm. connection. Yeah. And it's enough of a distance that there would be a relational network there. Mm -hmm. But not so close as that you're going to run into people. Yeah. Right. Uh, I think that would make sense because, you know, if he's researching and it's too far away from where his dad was, what makes him believe that? he's going to find out anything here. Right. Makes sense. Yeah. Oh, um, yes, it's not currently an issue, but I think I mentioned uh, earlier that you can max out powers. I've done a little bit of uh, house ruling because one of the few things in the new edition of the game that I really did like was the way they handled maxing out powers. Uh, so I put together a brief, brief, um, spreadsheet. No, <laughs> you're mean at me. Stop no, but you're, poking you're the grinning. storyteller. Nobody loves me. I'm going that's home. Funny. I am that's home. That's why I'm trying to make you grin. Nobody loves me. Uh, so I've dropped those into the Facebook chat as well. Um, basically it, it until y'all get started using your powers, it doesn't make a bit of difference, but you've got a couple of more options that are listed in the book, um, that I've given you also, um, most of the time used in most games, you're restricted to only spending XP between sessions. Novas are inherently malleable. And so I'm going to allow y'all to spend XP on any of the Nova powers, like the quantum powers or the mega attributes or things like that, in the middle of the session if you want to. Though, if you spend in the middle of the session, you'll pick up a point of temporary, not permanent, temporary, taint, 
for the on the fly spin. So like if you get into the middle of something and realize, oh gods, I absolutely have to be able to fly right now. If you have the XP for it, do it. But that also <laughs> makes sense. It's almost like a, like additional eruptions as your exactly. powers manifest. Mm -hmm. I like that. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, that does need to be done before any dice are rolled for the whatever it is that you're doing, obviously. <laughs> I'm still here. I'm just shoveling food into my face. I don't feel like being watched. Oh, you're fine. It's cool. That's why I was ducking when I was eating pizza. Yeah. I'm staring intently at your name, Gretchen, and you can't do anything to stop me. <laughs> <laughs> right. Cool. Um, so yeah, once y'all are, are done, I'll ask you to send me your, your character sheets. Uh, if you've taken things like enemies or uh, things like that uh, just include a little note about what it is because yes this has been very cool and I've been enjoying and paying attention but I am not going to retain all the details <laughs> yes. characters may have eidetic memory the player damn sure does true <laughs> that <laughs> so for enhancements for mega you uh -huh. get automatically free as well you get one for one free for every attribute but not for every dot of attribute right. Right. So it's the first time you buy a dot in one of your mega attributes you get one of their enhancements you for get free. a cookie yeah 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 i just have to choose my enhancement for intelligence i think i'm done awesome i've got i'm 90 percent sure that i'm done cool. the only trouble is um I'm trying to find a sheet that I can fill out on the computer. Mm -hmm. um, I do. Should be some in the folder. Lot, there are interactive. Have, there's interactive sheets in the in the in folder the folder that, in the Google Drive. Yes. If you go up to sheets and okay. if you go up to sheets, uh, then there's another one at the top mm -hmm. that says interactive. You, those are the ones that you can click on. Yes. Because yeah, those didn't mm -hmm. look like. Here, the original sheets, the regular sheets aren't. Yeah, there's another folder, a subfolder underneath them that says right. interactive. Right. Care gen. Yeah, the only one that I'm seeing is care gen, and then others are notes sheet editable. Um, editable. Aberrant editable. to page. Editable. Okay, so just. That's what you want. Okay, so aberrant to page new editable PDF. Yeah, that's one yes, I did. That sounds right. Okay. The yes. only downside Got of that it. sheet is there's not a place for merits and flaws, so I just put my merits and flaws under history. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll do that. Notes. I took the note sheet and put all my merits and flaws on the notes. That works too. Gotcha. I'll do that. Okay. I, and let I me... also took the note sheet and wrote down my expenditures on it. Yeah. Where when I couldn't remember what, you know, when I was trying to figure out the math. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm finished. Excellent. All righty. Um, did anybody other than Garrett go uh, to taint four or more? Nope, I said it at three. You said it at three. Anybody I, else? Two for me. Two for you. Did I? Okay, yeah. so I know that I took a tainted level three power, but it's one it's, dot. Yeah, it's okay. one. So is that one level one, one dot of taint? Yeah. It, your okay. tainted comes Got in it. by dot. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Drop the abilities uh, that you're trying to get the kind of quantum power points. Okay. 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 Uh, so it looks like Garrett's the only, unless Gretchen uh, took a bunch of taint, then I no. think. No. Nope. I'm wondering if I did something wrong. Um, no, no, you're certainly not required to. It just gives you uh, your points go further if you take them tainted. Yeah, it's a little, it's, it's a little bit more free, uh, less expensive to buy power, like powers and, and, uh, mega ads but like it's not necessary at all mm -mm. and if your character is like somebody who wouldn't then that's perfectly fine not to do it that, True. not to buy things tainted mm -hmm. all right well and if we're gonna do the point think, but... think of taint as like the the uh, sh the shortcut instead yeah. of instead of taking the long way to get the power 
Okay. Yeah. What were you about to say, Rob? No, I was just going to say we can oh. read a show as well. We're going to yes. have some yeah. so correct. Like, stretching. That's a kind of more slightly more advanced yeah. part of. Yeah, it's for later. Yeah. Distribution that <laughs> come back to it. Yep. True. Okay. I think uh Garrett, if you don't um if you don't mind, we'll uh deal with aberrations uh after since you're the only one doing with that. Oh no, that's perfectly fair. Cool, awesome. Uh because there's a bunch of them and they're cool and uh we'll do our own zoom after this, if that's all right, unless you need to go someplace. Cool. Okay, we'll do that. Awesome. All right, then. So it looks like we are good to go. Uh, you'll, of course, need pesky things like names. Names are important. You should have one. Um, you might even have more than one. Probably even have like a superhero name as well as your mundane name. Um, are there any other questions? Mm. No. No, this was fun. It was do, really we, fun. do we want to go into our characters a little bit so everybody like knows who who the team is that sounds I'm, like a plan what i'm not i'm not far enough along to like okay cool. yeah i'd love to have some time to my character is spaces, that's all i got for you okay <laughs> i mean okay. i have a i think i think but i just want to sit down and go over all the little details and sort of put it in a way that all the pieces fit together in the puzzle the no way problem no problem i will uh, i'm obviously available via messenger anytime if you want to set up a zoom time we can do that too that's not a problem we but can also we can also have conversations in the facebook chat for like character yes. ties and things like that that too i mean that yep. being said if somebody knows exactly what they're doing for their character i'm happy to hear it no oh. if anybody wants to go ahead and share do that otherwise we will close out anybody anybody bueller bueller well mine is going to be cast uh the Nova name is going to be Casper, uh, mostly because the idea of the, the ghost concept is a play on words. Uh, he's going to be a subterfuge-based character, uh, sneaky, sneaky. He uses pri He's primarily known for his density control, which allows him to kind of go through walls, go through floors. Uh, basically, he, he's the ghost that kind of haunts the halls. When he's try trying to track down his dad's killers. Awesome. So my dude's his name is uh, what did I choose? Eddie Mason. Uh, he uh, uh, his Nova name is going to be Advent. He does actually have uh, enough cipher and dormancy to separate Advent from Eddie. Um, he got pulled into the group again because because uh, he happened to uh erupt on a uh, on a construction site uh and refused to do anything with with uh project utopia whatsoever which made the local uh utopia people a little nervous and because of that it looks like one of the major superheroes for, in chattanooga like strongly advised he get kind of pushed into this this project with this little team uh and during during missions it's pretty clear that he's he's pretty pretty highly intelligent he has a lot of worldly knowledge he's very street smart um kind of comes off as a a little arrogant sometimes because he's because he's uh, very confident uh but you've seen him exhibit a little bit of of mega mega attribute stuff uh he's uh hardier than normal uh, he's very good at talking people into doing things, uh, and has very, very, looks like minor elemental powers. Like he can do a little bit with electricity right now, but nothing, nothing too big. Cool. Howard, are you in a position or do you not want to yet? The, uh, he is Thomas Hughes. He works for the local government. He's always running around in a suit and tie. He's, uh, he ends up he ends up on camera a lot of times whenever there's something big going on, possible eruptions, murder cases that got a lot of press. Um, he's not supposed to be the PR person, but he ends up being the PR person whenever that person gets stuck doing something else. Um, the There are mega attributes, definitely uh, mega 
a little bit of meta mega attributes in the socials. Um, just think of like an just think of like Mulder or Scully as an FBI agent, just in terms of appearance. And um, the if you look closely, one of one of his eyes doesn't seem to to track like the other one does, uh, possibly indicating that he has one eye. Oh, that's cool. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. I know Rob said that he needed a bit more time. Uh, I does Gretchen is Gretchen ready, or does Gretchen also need more time? Gretchen is muted. muted. <laughs> Gretchen always needs more time. Um, I'll have I have vague ideas, but I don't know. I'll figure it out and whenever. No problem. It's all yeah. good. Okay. Well, we like I say, we've got ample time between now and next month to bang out any details. But it's six thirty. I know that you've got your babysitter uh, wanting to go fairly soon. Um, mm -hmm. So, unless there are any other questions, I think now's a good place to close it out. Ooh, well, thanks, everybody. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. A lot of awesome. fun. Good times. Yeah, hit me up. Hit me up on Facebook if you need anything. Awesome. Yes. Uh, those who are watching, first of all, congratulations that you actually stuck with this for over three hours because that's really impressive. Um, I guess we'll be playing next month. So, you know, I'm sure at least several people will watch it. <laughs> I don't know. I might advertise it on my on my social media. You never know. Okay. Well, let's do it. If it makes you happy, do it. All right. All right, then. Thank you all very much. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here unless you're Garrett. Garrett, I'll meet you on my Zoom. All right. All right. Take care. All right. See Good you later. night. <laughs>